big delay. What the fuck? I pressed it and it was like five seconds later, it felt like, or three seconds. A good three seconds. Let me see uh, this one. Okay, there you go. There you go. A little more on point. All right, you ready, friend? So, oh, sorry. Today's ready? Pokemon, everybody. Yes. Is Masquerade, the evolved form of the circuit. Yeah. Oh, circuit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Man, getting through the. Uh... That's in Ruby, right? That was Ruby Sapphire. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right. Well, anyway. Mm. Well, um, this Saturday, Saturday was something as we record this. <laughs> I mean, we were just talking about earlier about the uh, a certain former president getting shot at. So, yeah. That's we, why we'll stop. <laughs> yeah. It's, um, I mean, you know. On one, like, in the back of my mind, I'm a little unsurprised. For a guy that has that much hate on, and a big target on his back like that, but at the same time, I didn't think there'd be somebody who has like the the kahunas to try, you know. And um, man, like he he said that the 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 thing whizzed by his ear or some shit, man. And he, so he was literally like like centimeters away from. From certain death, man. It's like, fuck, man. But that was wild. Anyway, um, and then unfortunately, at the same in the same day, uh, rest in peace, Richard Simmons. Yeah. Richard Simmons at seventy six has uh passed away, unfortunately. So, um, yeah. I think I've seen like a few of his videos, like back in the day. Like his workout videos. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But I think like most people remember him from um, the uh, the time he was on um, whose line is it, anyways? Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, see, I brought you. It just, you just went into that like that flashback zone. Like, yes. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> yes. That happened. Yes, that's right. That definitely happened. and then i guess since we're on the topic of um celebrities that passed away um shelly duvall passed away two days ago mm -hmm. at the age of 75. wow very they were like one year apart yeah right, right. yeah and for those who don't know who shelly duvall is or was uh for those from the 80s she was olive oil with um, for the live action of Popeye with Robin Williams, mm -hmm. but she's best known for for um, the Shining, portraying the mom. Yeah, yes. in the Shining. Yeah. And yeah. just to let you know, the scene the scene on the staircase was not improvised. It was done by I think it was like a hundred plus takes, and she was already like mentally exhausted. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So those those tears and her being sounding frustrated and scared, th those are real. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it's kind of sad that after The Shining, she kind of went. <sighs> her mind did recover. But just yeah, nice she way. took a very she she was like hiatus for good while and then she actually i think it was just like two years ago she went she um get, got back into acting and then like um this happened so yeah sucks dare i say you hate to see it you hate to see it man but anyways that's how we start off the uh the hype cast i mean it's been quite a been quite a week or uh for other areas anyway of um life but um when it comes to gaming and like you know nerdy stuff as we always talk about with yours truly as always sean aka hawk 525 with my cohort zawa as always on today's hype cast this is indeed 284 if i'm not mistaken uh we do have stuff to talk about nonetheless including uh takeda 
who is who is going to be talked about at Evo, I believe. And then uh, we we got some shit talking to do about Anime Expo once again. And then, um, yeah, I, know. I mean, we we haven't heard like bad shit like that one year. Holy God! But uh, I mean, there's still stuff to talk about. Uh, yeah. When yeah, for for Anime Expo, um, and then you know there there's even stuff about um, Danny Trejo, and then we'll talk about even Shrek Five later on, and even Crunchyroll, unfortunately. But yeah, so we'll get there on this edition of the Hypecast. So let's start off with this, as always. This battle is about to explode. Indeed, with um, Takeda here. My boy, Takeda, who is my main in MKX. Uh, let's take a look at this um, little little clip here. You could just oh, yeah. Uh, did mm -hmm. I screen share? Oh, no, I am screen sharing. But, um, yeah, you are shooting. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just rubbing Chef Ramsay right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's different. <laughs> Calling it that. You could just smoke that um, play line is gonna be fucking long. Mm hmm. Yeah. So either. Uh, sorry, sorry to say it. Either you're a big, you know, um media influencer or you know your your name is big in the uh oh yeah fgc yeah y you ain't going in the front of the line yeah <laughs> no, yeah to which i hope max does does get get in like get in like a couple of hours oh it. i'm sure i'm sure yeah like i and you know and also that's the thing too um for those going evo i think you have a few more days left to send an email to Evo, um, to let's let's say you're doing like side tournaments or um, playing demos like this, uh, to let Evo know that you're interested in recording, because they'll mm. have to fax you, um, give you paperwork to, mm -hmm. to sign, and you know like um, what's it called, term of like, agreement. And no stuff. term of agreement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TOA or not TOS. Um, yeah, <laughs> TOA. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, Non-disclosure, you know, that all that stuff, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys do want to record your your game footage when you're playing like uh, MK1 with uh, the uh, a Takeda build, or um, I'm just gonna call it League of Legends fighting game because I'm sorry, I don't like. Oh, X two XKO, yeah. Yeah, it, it's it doesn't it, it, like roll off the tongue. It doesn't. I, I, it should have been double KO if they're going to take that route. If my in my opinion, it was it should have been double KO or you know just work with like with you know using the word league because you, know, you have League of Legends, yeah, um, the, uh, Legends, Legends of, of Terra, Terra, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. They could have done something like the like a, something with the L, right? Yeah, or something to that nature. And, um, yeah, yep. I think I, I want to believe that I mean, Justin Wong's going to have like a side tournament, you know, like, um, mm -hmm. beat me and you win like this much money, you know, oh, set of yeah, five, yeah, you know, yeah. like how, how he does with like the side stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But I, and what am I going to do at Evil? Shop. <laughs> shop, yeah. <laughs> Are you gonna um shop and go and buy support the um the artist support, you know. Well fuck yeah, I gotta go visit Keaters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Just tackle him in his booth. Uh say say uh hi to him for me. <laughs> no, I'll call you. <laughs> oh yeah, face, like FaceTime. Chat. FaceTime, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Say hi to Gators. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that'd be funny. Um, but, uh, any anything else? Oh yeah, remember the? Uh, I remember we were at the. I don't know what what exactly what it was, but they had the the Monster Hunter um like little gotcha box. Oh, thing. the figures. The figures. Yeah. These. Yes, sir. 
Yes, sir. So, so okay. Sorry, a little tangent. Yes. I accent. I didn't mean to, but I kind of like was the enabler to <laughs> talk here. Going like, come on, come on. Test your RNG. Test your RNG. <laughs> I forgot who you got. Uh, I think I got Magia, Chris. It was Rathian. It was just regular Rathian. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got Magia, Chris, and I think I traded with um with someone in our group because uh -huh. they got um they got the nerdy gods that I wanted, and oh, we just traded. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, see, that's the thing. In the real, real figure gotcha, man. You can trade, <laughs> unlike fucking mobile game gotcha. Anyway, go on. Uh, I know I got it. I'm going to bring my evil bag. Because that damn backpack is huge, than, you know, for what it's supposed to, for what it's worth. Yeah. But if you definitely want a bag for sure. Oh, oh, um, do you have one of those, like, tubes that carry, like, the posters? No. Oh, okay. Yeah, you should. You should. Like, um, I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm thinking like, like nowadays, if I go to like mainland um, cons, yeah, if there's a poster, and if the artist is willing to, like you know, just pay the extra money there and then and ask them to you know if oh, they mail can it. mail it for me, mail it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it doesn't hurt to ask. You know, your yeah, 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 yeah your sure. artist. Mm -hmm. And if they say yes, then you know, pay pay the extra. Yeah, the extra. Know. Yeah, I got one. Of, I got one of those like poster tube things with the strap or whatever. Um, you can get those at like Daiso, like for, like easily. They they like have those around quite a bit. For mm -hmm. anyone who live who has a Daiso um nearby. But anywho, um, I know this is a bit of a teaser for our boy Takeda. Yeah. But nice he looks good. Yeah, he looks pretty good. He's pretty intact for the most part. I like the mask. Uh, they're going strong with the, the uh, what do you call them? The black and gold and yellow. Yeah. You know, kind of appropriate because he is supposed to be like um, the student of um, Hanzo, right? And usually the son I of also, uh, Kenshi, yeah. I was gonna say, like, I also find it funny that um, because it has the um, the s a skeleton, you know, like lower jaw. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. My mind instantly went to this past weekend's uh, The Boys episode, and I was like, <laughs> "He deserved it." I yeah. was like, "Yes." Mm hmm. You don't know how happy I was like, keep going, keep going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. More blood, more blood on the screen. Come on. <laughs> oh, die. But the, it's not spoilers, but if you didn't watch it, the plot twist at the end of the episode. Woo! Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say, woo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Katie. Are you, are you caught up on the boys? Or yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, all with, right. With the latest episode, yeah, nice. I was like, Oof. It's like, yeah, dude, I can get to catch the last <laughs> episode of the Boys season four <laughs> while on vacation. Ooh, man, what a man, what a way to it's like the stars aligned. Aligned, yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, but yes, Takeda looks pretty good overall. Not much to say other than glad to see my boy actually now getting the spotlight this time around. After uh, who I, was it? Oh yeah, Homelander. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I hope Takeda has like a um function, kind of like a Spencer from M MVC. M yeah, MVC three. three yep. Mm -hmm. With his um, I guess his whip, like he can just whip to the um to the go, other side go of the, to, the map. Or, yeah, yeah, or go go across the yeah maybe yeah. Mm -hmm. Go go across the map or um have it like a faster way to um get across. The come down. Yeah, or come down. Um, yeah come down to the air yeah that'd be pretty sick i do i do want to see hopefully like one of his grabs it could be a command grab that he whips you and then just like spins you mm -hmm. and when neat. you're spinning you go you, you know you you're 
you're on the opposite side now. Oh, a side switch? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Side switch. Like a four side switch. Yeah, four side. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, we'll see the trailer at Evo. Mm hmm. Yeah. Now, win at Evo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 sat yeah, I didn't say, right? Like, it's, it's not sat uh We don't know if it's Saturday or Sunday. We don't know. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Well, because. We know for sure that um, it's not it within well within the top three at all. I think it will be on just Saturday. Therefore, I think the reveal will be on Saturday. Just as my, that's just my prediction anyway. It should. I don't think it should be a surprise just because um, I think the tradition is that top th the what was it top three or whatever is going to be Sunday finals for for yeah. Evo. So yeah, um, I I think they'll just do it on Saturday for. Um, Takeda's reveal. So, yeah. And if don't... Uh, let me see if there's anything... Any other development. No, not really. So, yeah, that's just, that's just pinned. Just more costumes. Yeah. And then we have good old Takeda. I think his voice is the same. I think. You could just smoke bomb out of here. And miss this fight. Are you kidding? Yeah. I think, uh, oh yeah, and then yes. If we haven't said already, he's playable at Evo, so, yeah. <laughs> For those who wants to play um, Takeda at Evo, probably line up early. Yeah. And you might you might only have, like, what? 10 minutes playtime? I, I, I don't know how these... these um, Just a couple, maybe, yeah, probably like a couple matches. That's it. First, first two or something at, at best. Like I think it's gonna be like maybe the first two rounds are gonna be your your tests, you know, to get familiarized. Yeah, for, and then yeah. they'll then they'll start the the timer. Yeah. Cause mm -hmm. you know, it'll, it'll be unfair. You just are just thrown and you don't know what the hell well, you're doing. Well, well the the game has a timer, I'm sure, so they'll probably just yeah. go off of that. So yeah. But let's not forget, right? <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there'll be another play demo at Evo for you to try to get in <laughs> along with, uh, I'm sure, uh, 2XKL and such. But anyways, another fighting game news, uh, Agent Smith, uh, got some sort of like cinematic trailer of sorts so we can go ahead and watch it here. <laughs> Classic, yep. Good old pie in the face. Did he just flashed us? <laughs> of course you know this means what I'm afraid this is the end for you. Uh, you think I came by myself, Doc? And then that's Nile. it. Yeah. Is Nile filming up? Yeah. <laughs> Are we gonna hear? Whoa! <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe. Uh, it's a little, little foreshadowing for Keanu, right? Good old, good old Keanu, uh, Keanu Reeves. Or Morpheus, or Trinity. Or Morpheus, Morpheus Trinity. Yeah, that would be pretty sweet. But yeah, you know, remember this uh, whole joke, quote unquote, back when it wasn't called a meme, but like so many movies were doing this, the Matrix thing, the 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 bullet dodge, bullet time stuff i think the one that did it the most in my opinion the most funniest version is um scary movie scary movie yeah uh, 
course. And then there's a Cause, compound. Cause he did, yeah. Yeah. The scary movie did the whole stuff, and then his back got like stuck. He's like, wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> and then he had to yeah. like fix it. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that that actually looks believable. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It is it's basically like, you know, um kind of equivalent to the whole JoJo thing, like oh, 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 and then the you know, um uh the DO thing, right? And then uh and then another one would be um like Kenshiro's anything Kenshiro from Fist and North Star back in the day. Yeah. You know, that's that that's just kind of like what it what it was, you know, for Matrix. Man, um, yeah, Agent Smith is coming in after Jason. Um, I think they revealed some of his kit or something like that at this point. But the voice actor for Agent Smith is Sky uh, Solio, if I'm getting his name right. Um, who I'm not too familiar with, but let's see, um, what his resume is like. Uh, let me see. Blah, blah, blah. IMDb. Multiverses. Straight out of Compton. Oh, wow. He's, he was a... Oh, that's funny. He's a, he's a cop from Torrance. That's funny. Um, But let's see. I don't know where that is. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, so oh, really, thank God. Well, thank, thank God. What? <laughs> Someone said me because I I watch Euphoria, really mm -hmm. good show, but it's not for the faint of heart. Mm -hmm. Thank God they're, they're fucking making season three. It's been fucking years. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. They're talking about yeah, yeah. The it's the anime, right? From no uh, Euphoria is um, with uh, Zendaya. Oh. It's a, Oh, maybe I'm yeah. getting getting no mixed with. Stuff. Okay, okay, because there's also season yeah. three of a of a show I'm thinking of. Okay, so that's coming. It, that's an anime. Okay. Mm -hmm. Finally, I mean, they gotta freaking um hurry up with this stuff because I think next year is supposed to be the wedding mm. between Sadania and um Tom Holland. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I guess this guy is like relatively new, so yeah, you know, now he's getting his uh, foot in the door and uh, in the, in the uh, industry. So, congrats! I'm being one of the most iconic uh, movie villains of the 2000s. Villains, uh, but depending on the perspective of Agent Smith, he's not really a hero. But he, he has a point. He kind of did, put, yeah. Yeah, he had a point. Yeah. And when we look at the one it, as a whole, it was kind of like, yeah, the one is an uh, anomaly. Anomaly? Yeah, anomaly. Like it wasn't, anomaly, yeah. It wasn't um, native to, you know, the, the, the system structure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was technically a virus, yes. so to speak. Yes. Yes, a deviant. Yeah. So. But yeah, that's but, uh. But yeah, <laughs> that, that that's one rabbit hole I don't want to go into again. Yeah, I mean, funny because the Matrix is all about the rabbit hole, you know, and such. Uh oh, oh there wow. is a fighting game. Moveless already. Moveless already. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Oh wow, he has a slide <laughs> and shoot. That's funny. You got a grab? Dang. You got a headbutt and a grab. A lot of grabbing this guy. Oh, yeah, the show you again. That's oh. funny. <laughs> That's funny. Round pound. I do I do like the the, the matrix uh you know, Oh the little effects, the yeah. 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 The coding. Yeah. Mm hmm The ones and zeros, man. All that stuff. Crushing his stomp. Okay, that's his there or down air. Okay. It's whiskers. 
<laughs> That's funny. The <laughs> the John Woo basically. <laughs> Oh, the, oh, oh, the upload. Oh, that's funny. Upload. Yeah, okay, okay. Download, upload. All right. I, I get you. I, I get you. Going viral. What's that? So, going viral is charge an agent projectile that throws uh, opponent and gives agent buff to allies. Okay, okay. Ooh. Okay. It's not a bullet, right? I know, right? It's just one bullet. Like, what the fuck? Okay. Huh. Dante, show him what a bullet ring is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. A little interesting. Um, As this is supposed I to be a supporting, like, 2v2 kind of team, it does have a... He does yeah. have a buff to allies. Sorry, go ahead. I hope one of his, his taunts is the whole, like, the laugh, you know, like he, when he took off his glasses and he was just like, no. like, <laughs> 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 was like it's like, Hugo, Hugo, are you okay? Yeah. It says, it says right here in the script, I, I'm supposed to laugh menacingly. Yeah. No, you ain't laughing menacingly. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> uh, yep. That is about it for Ancient Smith. It's funny that, you know, he came in before uh, Neo. Kind of like almost like a, like what happened with uh, Arnold from, you know, like Nickelodeon All-Stars or whatever. Like, Ed, like you have gr the, the grandma, I forget her name it was, Helga. And uh, yeah. I think both of them are in, in, in the new one. But you don't have Arnold. Like, what the fuck? Like, wh wh where's the man himself? Or the, wh where's the, the guy himself, right? The main character. Where's the boy? Where's the boy? Right? What's next, Gerald? Where's the lamb Where's the lamb sauce? <laughs> Yo, where's the sauce? Where's the sauce? Yeah, exactly. Right? The main attraction. Uh, all right. So that's it on multiverses. All right. Now, now we do have to XKO, which I, I, I'm assuming they're going to have some sort of uh, booth at EVO. But anyway, we got Braum coming into the mix Braum now. Braum is here. Yes. All right. Touch my, touch my shield. So it is canon before uh -huh. we um, continue. Yeah. They are kind of seeing each other. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And a little bit backstory of his shield. That's his door. That's his door. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, you're right. In 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 lore, he's like uh, he doesn't like to fight. He likes to protect. Uh -huh. And when his village was being attacked, the door was the only thing that you know he could grab. Uh huh. And that's and he that's pretty much it, carries the door it. with him. Ah. So that is one of his moves in the game where he creates a big shield. Mm -hmm. This, I just, I call it the the demon Oro Rush mm -hmm. because it's pretty much what it is. Oh yeah, so those little things are called Poros. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Little babies. Mm -hmm. they're, kind of, they're basically the, the Moogle of League of Legends, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I like that that he has oh, his like... own little Dudley Dudley things. Like, oh, he's he's got the rose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> yeah. I kind of do want to try him out. He seems a little more up my alley in terms of like archetypes and such. Along with the so uh, when... yeah. What are you gonna say? When you think of like tank. Tank tank classes, it's him and Leona. Oh, okay. Are like the true like tank tanks. Mm -hmm. Like y yeah, your supports you can build them tanky and stuff, but when you want like true true, it's Brom, mm -hmm. Brom and um Leona. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm glad they're um 
they're going to the other regions of Runeterra. Mm -hmm. Because so far we've been um, sticking with Noxus, which is where Dar um, Darius is from, mm -hmm. the one with the axe. Mm -hmm. Then you ha and we kind of stayed with um, Zon, which had Jinx, uh, and Echo because you mm. know Arcane. Mm -hmm. um, Ilawi is from uh, ooh, Bilgewater, which mm -hmm. is you know like think of Pirates of the Caribbean. Okay, okay. that setting. Okay. Uh, Ari is from Ionia. Um, just think like you know Eastern settings or, or Asian settings because mm -hmm. she's a nine. She's a nine tail fox. Yes. Yeah. Essentially, and Yasuo, Yasuo also is from... part of Ionia. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, trying to remember, did I miss anybody? I think that's it for now. Yeah. So. Yeah, I was like, did I miss anyone? So. Yeah. <clears throat> so again, like. I'm glad they're going through the other regions. I'm just waiting for my favorite region. Yeah. Which is um Shurima and it's pretty much um Egypt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Unless unless they bring in Targon, which is oh well, Fril which is where um uh Brahm is from. Mm -hmm. Think of it Norse, Norse mythology. Norse, so. okay. Targon is kind of cosmic because there's a mountain that you, in lore, if you climb the mountain, you kind of like gain, you gain favors from the gods mm. or you, you find enlightenment mm -hmm. if you climb this mountain. Well, right. it, looks, it looks good. Yeah. I want to try it. But I'm I'm just sad I won't be able to record it unless you know like hey view hold mm -hmm. hold my fucking phone <laughs> yeah, record. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah 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 hopefully at least you get your hands on uh two X K O somehow right and maybe Brom if you wanna if you wanna pick or if he is available I don't know if they'll have him available but yeah it seems fun he yeah. seems. I don't know, it seems like one of those early characters that's um up my alley, so I'll try to pick him up along with um uh this this chick right here too. So funny, oh, hey, Ila that's a canon Ilawi. team. Yep. Ilau? Yep. Okay. Ilawi. Ilawi, gotcha. I'll try to remember that. <laughs> she's supposed to be Well, here in Hawaii because she's pretty much like not your not your typical, but we have some aunties that looks like her. Oh. Like the big strong like Yeah. Um Pacific Burly. Islander aunties. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like we me and my friends call it, oh it's auntie. Yeah. <laughs> and don't let her like catch you doing something dumb while you you fucking get your clock in. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, so Brom is in the game now. So the, for those uh, who... Uh, is Brom like, good? Or the last time you played League of Legends, was he around on the radar at all? Uh, again, it, it depends how you build him. Yeah. Um, and your team synergy. Yeah. he He's good in protection, like protecting. Mm. He has some... Uh, CC, but most of the time, Brown's just uh, too slow, so to speak, compared to other support characters. Yeah. Like, yeah, he's the definition of, like, I'm a tank, I'm kind of going to move slow, but once I do my, um, my, uh, whatchamacallit, my defensive options, hmm. Mm -hmm. He can become like unkillable for for a few a few moments. Mm -hmm. I see. Alrighty. Uh, up next, 
this is a little separate but kind of related because apparently dota for those who played dota <laughs> uh apparently has some sort of like event yeah um has some 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 sort of event right now and i get i don't know if this is like limited time or whatever but i'm assuming it is there's some sort of like fighting game mode called sleep fighter immortal combat you know encompasses the uh, fighting games right and then and then like you play um certain care like certain characters that apparently in like this setting so kind of like it's like a parody of a fighting game <laughs> so i'm like okay wow you know Very, very simplified, of course, I, I'm assuming, anyway. Yeah. Have, have you ever played Dota? Because I have, I definitely have not. No. Okay. no. <laughs> yeah. I watch my friends play it, and I'm just, like, staring at, you know, while watching yeah. on the screen, like... Yeah, there definitely is some I sort see of... what's happening. Yeah. He's like, I see what's happening. Yeah. I just don't know what the fuck is happening. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wow, look at the range on that jab, though. Uh, let me see. Hold on. After It's like after the hammer stuff or whatever. She went to the shore again, and then boom! Look at that. Like, that's so far. <laughs> like, look at that. Look, look, look how far that is. <laughs> look how far, like how big her, like, hurt box becomes when she whips her shore again and shit. That's crazy. And, and how big her jab is. Not to mention. So, yeah, thought I'd throw that in there, you know. That, you know, like, other franchises are kind of like, um, respecting fighting games as a genre, as a, as a fellow genre, right? You know? Pretty nice. And then meanwhile, while not necessarily a fighting, quote unquote, fighting game, so to say, a fighting, uh, a deve the developers known to make fighting games, Arc System Works, um, is making a 3D, uh, a 3D Double Dragon game coming to PS5, PS4, Xbox, um, X and S, and a PC in uh, the next year. And I believe there's uh, already some sort of trailer for it, if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and try and see if that is true. Oh yeah, so there it is. Yeah, so not the highest budget. I think okay, so I think it might be uh Arxis published and then developed by oh what does that say? Is that Yuki's or Yukis or something? Something like that. Yukes, maybe? Yukes. <laughs> yeah, Yukes. I'm I'm not sure what the the exact story on that is. I think you uh you Yukes, I'm just gonna say. It are, are the actual it's developers. Like, yeah. It's like, don't hurt yourself there. I know. Um, and then Arx Arxis is um, the publisher. That's what it looks like, anyway. But hey, either way, classic game being remade. Uh, not the biggest budget, obviously, but hey, I mean, it's something, you know? It's something. And from the looks of it for now, it looks pretty good. Pretty like, decent, it's yeah. Eye yeah, yeah. It's not like. I'm, my eyes is bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm sure it'll be fun to play. 
uh, uh, did it say it's online co-op or is it oh like, um... yeah that's the burning question yeah so let me see doesn't really say much about it though um no, at the moment at right. the moment i think it just got announced or uh, revealed so yeah the 11th so literally two days ago so yeah we'll probably hear more about it like later down the line Oh, okay. So I guess they're they have some sort of development experience from Arxis or something. I'm not sure what the the full like story is, but I get I guess they're like having some people from Arxis helping them out or something. That would make sense if that is the case. But yeah, I mean we'll we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out for it. Alrighty, that's it for uh, fighting games. Uh, pretty brief, pretty simple, straightforward, all that stuff. Now we can go we'll into. Probably, we'll probably have more um, next week during Evo. Oh yeah, during Evo, yeah, and then we'll definitely talk about it the next time we uh, meet up for the hype cast. It sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I, 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 there's always that room for that possibility, but we'll see. Because you know, it the is Dark at, Stalkers returns. Yeah. It is at a new place, which is the Las Ve Las Vegas Convention Center. So anything can go right. Anything can go wrong as well. Like hopefully it's. I mean, they say. Um. Well, the artist alley for um, Evo is bigger yes. than before. So mm -hmm. I guess it's because of the new um venue. So we'll, we'll see. Yeah, people have been saying like even at the at the place before they were saying some people were saying it was too big, like space wise. So I think that's a pretty oh, like a good... lot of mm -hmm. empty space. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. So I think that's a good thing, you know, because you just never know. Like there might be a lot more people than estimated or something, and then you have the room for it. So, but uh, we'll have to see about this uh, this time around. All right, let's yeah. go fire up the Fireline news. Right, so let's just get this stuff out of the way for Anime Expo. Then you know, get the get the bad, and then let's throw in the good. Um, for Anime Expo. So Anime Expo, we all know those who definitely uh gone uh, into anime conventions. Anime Expo has unfortunately has become like that infamy, like has become like infamous for a lot of things nowadays. Um. And as you know, they tend to like overcrowd um, their convention center, so um, that comes comes with a lot of consequences, including um, poor uh, air circulation or ventilation of sorts. So somebody um, decided to like record the numbers of or measure the numbers of the carbon dioxide levels. It is in the red. It's at um, uh, at 4,573 parts per million. So, um, and then you can kind of see where the green is, right? We're just right at a thousand. So, well, well, four times the, the, uh, the, the amount, right? So yeah, <laughs> not, not looking good when you're you know, writing a writing a big event like that. Um, yeah, it says like, like yeah. Wouldn't the uh, AC unit or something like the ventilation system? No, like just. I think it's just not enough. I think it's. I think it's. Um, yeah, no. The thing, like I've been saying, they're overcrowding the the convention center. So there's way too many people for the um, system to keep up with. I think that's just what it is. Like it, you know, have you, like, we've seen pictures of the, uh, the front hallway. It's like shoulder to shoulder. And then you can like, looks like you can like barely walk through the actual, um, booths and stuff like that from what I've seen or what I remember from the pictures. And even says like this person right here, uh, Abby saying, if you felt dizzy, sick at all while there, you know, like that's why, um, and they they gotta yeah like 
upgrade the ventilation system or don't allow as many people, you know? As much as it, uh, they don't want to do that because they want to make money. They want to make money. I mean, so now looking at this uh, carbon dioxide chart, I'm afraid to see if someone did is going to do this during um, E93 uh, Comic Con that's coming up soon. It's another, yeah. I heard Comic Con is pretty bad too. I'm afraid to say. Because I know people are already going to like line up during Comic Con for the uh, Marvel panel. Because apparently a lot of shit's supposed to like, be shown in there. I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, because like they're coming, they're they're like gearing up for like Secret Wars and stuff like that, right? And then yeah. like the whole thing with Doctor Doom and everything that's been long speculated at this point. I'm sure something like that will come about. Um, there's there's a little more to it for this thread. Uh, it says we're required to be there from eight a.m. until until six p.m. for most days. Those CO two readings aren't safe for attendees, let alone spending ten hours in. Like Jesus Christ, yeah. And some artists don't have helpers, so leaving is a loss of critical income when we already pay out the nose to be here. Yeah, so it's, um, it's tough, man. Like if you, especially if you're an artist trying to make uh, that moolah, right? The the hustle, you know. And like she said, not everyone has a helper, you know. That's some, it ain't that easy. So obviously, you don't want to leave your station and stuff like that. In their table because you never know like they'll take your shit or um you lose business you know money is money so you got it you're just stuck in that um room full of people and full of uh all that co2 now some people there there are people who are resilient to that you know but there are people who are not right so there's gonna be people who be like oh i'm fine so should you you know like yeah this 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 is dangerous this is a hazard like this should not be a thing but you know ax just loves to overcrowd their shit again because of money they want those attendance numbers right to make it look good for um people who invest and help them investors yes absolutely because it's to them a business more than anything uh, nowadays which we've been talking about man it's been so unfortunate you know back in the day it used to be more about passion blah 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 like we, we we've already said those things but you know i would i would hate for all this to bite them in the ass and then like the attendees have to pay for it right to suffer those consequences while the suits are just uh, the the what do you call the people actually running the the event are just like sitting in their little little ivory towers or whatever or whatever fucking elsewhere and all they have to do is say oh i'm sorry or uh, we we heard you or mm -hmm. you know all that pr shit while the actual attendees were the ones who have to suffer all that shit so anything else you wanted to say about ax we dying yeah right not to mention it's hot as fuck during the heart of uh you know july or july 4th it definitely was a pretty warm and you got the the poor air circulation so it's like yeah obviously and not only not only the co2 is abundant uh obviously the, people are more likely to get sick not just from like corona but like just anything you know you're just inviting for a petri dish full of like viral diseases and such. So the easiest thing to resolve this is to just not invite or um, let that many people into the convention or don't sell out as many tickets, right? That's the easiest, easiest thing they could definitely do, but they won't because you know why. Um, meanwhile, this is a little different, but apparently, um, there was this guy going around, like, sh handing out counterfeit money. 
when he was like buying either i think he's a buyer or something i i, I don't know i'm not the, i'm not sure on the context of it but apparently uh this guy was like handing out like fake bills and shit so <laughs> probably buying um you know like the artist alley stuff with fake money i'm pretty sure someone was able to find out because um you know obviously right like a lot of those artists i'm sure have some sort of marker to like see if it's counterfeit or not like i think usually if it bleeds a certain color like it, if it bleeds blue or something it's uh fake or something i forget how it, how it works but yeah if the ink in the pen doesn't react or something then it's some it, it's either fake or real or something i forget how the process goes but yeah, uh, that's so if it's the counterfeit pen, if it's yellow, it's good. If it's black or brown, it's bad. Mm -hmm. And that reminds me of a, a fucked up story. Well, it's not. It's something I read. Okay, mm -hmm. so the guy was trying to pay for his stuff, so he hands a fifty dollars. So mm -hmm. the cashier swipes it with the with the mark with the marker. Mm -hmm black okay bad so the guy went back to went to the um his bank which is you know not far from the store uh -huh. came back with a new new fresh bill from the bank does it again to the same um register cashier mm -hmm. the cashier you know does it again use the marker <laughs> it's bad fake mm -hmm. okay third time comes back does the swipe with the marker and this is the guy looking at the cashier ma'am have you been using a sharpie all this time oh my god <laughs> she looks now oh my god yes <laughs> yes i have <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh man that i'm sure that person wanted to bury their head like an ostrich into the sand <laughs> Or just proudly go like, yes, I have. Why? <laughs> Why do you ask? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so apparently he's already been reported. So I don't know what became of it. But like, just the fact that like people do this, you know, there's always some sort of shady but shit he, going on, yeah. man. Like, I mean, I, I, I mean, but now, but now because he's on photo, you know, like yes, on the internet and stuff. The um, what do you call? His ass, his ass is already numbered. Yes. They're gonna find like the name and and stuff. Mm -hmm. and Identify him. He's yeah. just gonna he, he's just gonna go straight to the uh, the ban list. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, counterfeiting money is very serious. Yeah, obviously, like you definitely want to don't want to be involved with that shit. Hell no. Especially if you're, if you're not even that slick about it, like Jesus, you know. <laughs> if your ass is on the internet, or, or if your face is on the internet already, you're doomed. <laughs> you know. And that if we, and here in Hawaii, because it's such a small island, like once yeah. you do something stupid on this island, the whole damn place knows. Yeah, they're they're gonna find you pretty quickly. You know, <laughs> I'm sure. And the way it, it works here in Hawaii is like. Everyone's gonna know, but well, depending on your family, but it's always the same. If your grandmother finds out or your parents find out, you're you're pretty much dead. <laughs> and also, it depends on how you're grown, how you're raised. Yeah. Cause okay, my mom, she may look like you know nice and sweet, but once you get to know her, it's like oh shit! If I pissed her off, I'll be on the ground bleeding. Yeah, dude, you don't fuck yeah. with people's grandmas, man. That's uh, that's a, that's an important rule, also. Mm -hmm. You know, grandmas they 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 have that arm; they can take off the slipper, and you can yeah, be like the, fifty yards away, that, and then it's either a slipper or a chocolate or something, hell? man. Just yeah, yeah it's like, whack your ass, yeah, exactly. Unless you're my great grandmother, she had the Kindle stick because oh. she used to be a instructor. Oh fuck. <laughs> So let's just say discipline was loud <laughs> and painful. I'm sure. Um, 
it, it, it's fine. Yeah. We learned. Yeah. No, we didn't. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah. If the if the Secret Service doesn't uh, get your ass, it's, it's somebody's grandma. <laughs> Some someone's grandma's slipper is flying yeah. in the air, aimed at you. Just like, yeah. Psh. Mm-hmm. Yep. I mean, I, I want to be like that badass when I'm old. <laughs> Uncle, he hurt me. Where? What kid? Uh, yeah. <laughs> and he's ah! he's here just like this. You're long, welcome. <laughs> yep. This, you just hear this long distance like like <laughs> from far away. <laughs> ah, fuck! <laughs> what the hell was that? <laughs> yep. So, there you go, there you go, kid. Now go get my fucking slipper. Mm -hmm. All right. So according to Crunchyroll, this is apparently <laughs> uh, what was announced. Everything at uh, AX. So let's just go through um, down the list here. I haven't looked at it, so it may be uh, some surprising things. Okay, Born. so there's one called. Okay, this is this is definitely BL, dude. This is a BL anime. Yeah. <laughs> You're porn. Yaoi. Porn. <laughs> Straight uh, up porn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I'm falling in love with you. Oh man, yeah, you're you're at you're definitely <laughs> definitely asking for it. Demon Lord retry R. Oh great, another isekai. Okay, it, keep going. This looks like a yeah, mm -hmm. that's an isekai. Last boss, yeah, it is. Okay. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Link. Okay, that looks like another BL. Yeah, link click. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um. So poor. I thought. <laughs> so poor. Oh yeah, this, this yeah, this is BL. Um, I I was I, I for some reason I thought it was like um uh what was that one anime anime with the blood cells cells at work? Oh so, yeah, cells at work. Yeah, like I thought this was like another cell or something. I'm like okay, hmm, maybe they're doing another Not season. Not to me, it's season seven. What the hell? Not to me. Oh yeah, okay. Not to me. Uh, Jesus Christ. Book of Friends season seven, fall 2024. And oh wow, oh, is that it? Oh, oh, maybe there's more. Hold on, no, that's his editor in chief. Oh, that's just the editor, okay, okay. Because that's weird. Because, um, in October, we're supposed to get the um, the relaunch reboot of Rodma One Half, yeah, what the fuck, and then, yeah, I think this list is it's... bad. What the fuck, this is from Crunchyroll, yeah. so I guess. What could you expect? Uh, yeah, Rama. Then, yeah, Rama. Um, exactly. Yeah. And then um, sometime next year is supposed to be the anniversary or whatever for Magical Ray Night um, Earth. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so let's like, see. So it's like, well, where, where is it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know what this list is about. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, this, this, this is the six. Like, this should have been updated at this point. But okay, so I mean, there was there's a bit more. Yeah, see, like, and also October is um the next um step for the thousand year blood war. Yes, for bleach. For, for bleach. So it's like, where the fuck is that? Yeah. There. Okay. So blue, blue blue box, okay. Um so it looks like a gymnastic or slice of life. Yeah, slice of life. Looks like with like sports, yeah. Gym like some sort of gymnasium thing. Romance. And you then, know what it looks like to me? Fucking almost like your lie in April. Oh, you're right, yeah. It's got those vibes. Yeah, you're right. Let me guess, instead of the girl dying at the end, it's gonna be the guy. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Is that a spoiler for your Lion April? <laughs> the anime's out. <laughs> like been out so long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're right. You're right. Trigon gets, Trigon gets a fucking sequel. It's a sequel. Yep. The CGI one. Oh, uh, Doctor Stone. Um. Oh, Black Butler. Black right? Butler skin and none. Right. I don't know if this Black Butter is a fucking continuation or another reboot. I believe you know, like Hunter, it's supposed Hunter Hunter is. 
uh, I believe it's supposed to be a continuation. I want to say it's a continuation. I've watched a, um, a good handful of it back in the day. Because they're supposed to be doing the public school saga thingy. It's been a long time, so I, I'm, I'm a little foggy on that. But anyway. Um, that one, I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Something like it's supposed to be Blue Lock Season 2. Blue Lock Maybe Season 2. Next. Right. And then... Uh -oh. Huh. Is that these? Yeah, these two are something with the diaries, right? Or Blue Lock. Yeah, or, or Blue Link, Lock, yeah. Link, or maybe that one's Link Click, because, you know, there's links. Oh, right. Or Blue Lock, I don't know. Oh, and Link, yeah. Uh, Link Click, yeah. Oh, great. Sword Art is returning. Yay. <laughs> I know you have your your spite towards that anime, but it's 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 just fine. I I I think it's definitely overrated for sure. But, uh, like down there, um, oh. the Crunchyroll they didn't even mention um the Dragon Ball Dai Daima. Oh my god, it's you're right. Be this year. Yeah, you're right. That's weird. So there's new on Sword Online, new blue, new new uh, blue Exorcist. Blue Exorcist, Jesus. Damn, Christ. man, how long has it been? Jesus, right? Right there, release date 2011. Oh, you're right. <sighs> oh, where's my where's my gray hair? Uh, mm -hmm. maybe it's... <laughs> and it's coming out. Yeah, it's coming out next year. So that's like you know that much longer. Fourteen years, dude. That, that damn. Uh, ominous. Uh. Nissen Reader, okay. Witch Hat Adler, or Atelier, excuse me. I wonder if it's from the that video game. I'm pretty sure it's different, but yeah. Might be, man, I don't that know. is it, Witch 8. Oh, Witch 8, yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. witches like, were hated back in the day. I'm... No, Witch 8. Oh, like... Witch 8. Okay, okay. <laughs> I did say Witch 8. My, dyslexia, like, oh. my dyslexia came out. I was like, Witch oh. 8? Mm -hmm. That's years. Like, what do you mean she ate? <laughs> no, oh God. Solo, Solo leveling. leveling. Mm -hmm. I heard. I heard about this um series. Thousand year old. Yes, he looked bleach. Bleach. Blanche. <laughs> Blanche. Yeah. Blanc. Yeah. Blanco. And then yeah, fucking fire. Fire force. force. Yeah. There you go. To which, right there, everyone, if you didn't know that fire force was a freaking prequel to Soul Eater, probably this is gonna be it. Right. We're gonna finally see who become well, what became of whatever. Yeah, mm -hmm. who became Shinigami Sama at this yeah. point? Yeah, how it all started with the weapons and everything. So, I'm sure there's a little more to it, but yeah, those those are the biggest announcements. So, but yeah, Blue Exorcist, man, sheesh, man. Good lord. Been so long, right? Since I've last heard that name. Oh shit! Did they even? I don't think Anime X or anyone put up that um, we're also supposed to getting uh, part two of the um. Oh, I forgot what the saga is called for Sailor Moon. It's with Galactica. Part one already came out. Part oh. two is coming out like soon. Uh huh. Okay, so maybe this is it. I I, I okay, because this is a uh, a little more further. All the new, all the big news from the event. So the Trigon Star Gaze. That's what, what we're kind of seeing. Yeah. Okay. So there that's, we go. So yeah, Penny and Stocking. Penny and Stocking. We we saw that. Um, and then we have yeah, the gear. gear, Suicide Squad Isekai. Yes, that's okay. The Isekai thing. Sorry for Suicide Squad. Watch it. it it's fucking like it. It looks stupid, but it's actually like wow. This is really oh wow that uh, wow. Coming from you, I'm like, wow, okay, geez. It's really? It's because, well, I'll sh let you watch the ending of it because it's a, like, the ending credits, it's an acid trip, and you're like, holy <laughs> fuck, what am I watching? It's like, it's a guy. He's just going, like, like, mm. Yeah. And then, yeah, we saw the so, Batman Yakuza thing, the hat, which, hat. which had soul leveling, seven daily sins, okay. Uh, Four Nights of Apocalypse, a uh, virtual reality mobile suit Gundam movie. Okay. Um, Sora Online, Gun Gale. Uh, oh, that's the 
um oh okay that was the um the girl with the pink hat that's that's the better one that's the that's actually the good one from what i've heard anyway because it uh, actually deals with some real life issues anyway so um <laughs> blue box okay uh b stars oh yeah b star is supposed to be coming on to the, um this year so yes yeah. december of this year yep right which is kind of sad because um final season yeah but it's a final season but there's they cut i'm i'm hoping they don't, they don't cut out a lot of stuff because season two they cut out a lot of things that happened in the manga oh that they oh that sucks because there there's a certain scene that is very like it's a key like event of why all of these other events happen it was like, uh, and i was like where where the fuck is it you're talking about it but i don't see it mm -hmm. ubel blot debuts in next year of 2025 january god of remembrance uh, oh yeah, uh, Don Machi, or uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon? Season 5, Blue Lock, Yakuza Fiance, uh, Apothecary, I'm just, I'm just, I'm butchering that shit. Um, Diary Season 2, Link Click, okay, and then we have Ble and Bleach, uh, Thousand Year Blood War, of course. Yeah. Um... New oh, there's a new manga from uh, Hiro Mashima, who you know the guy who makes a uh, fairy tale, I th I believe. Oh yeah, Deadlock. Okay, that's what it was. Okay, or Dead Rock. Excuse me. I'll check that out because I tend to really like his art style. Can't help it, even though his writing is I'm a little questionable when it comes to the story. But yeah, um, I'm an idiot. I'm trying to click on. One of the links as they go away. I'm, I'm uh, your screen, yeah, it's a screen share. I'm like, I want to know what this boy who ruled the monsters. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, boy who ruled the I monsters. Think, um, I'm like, click, click, come on, mm -hmm. open that link. Yeah, delicious, delicious, in, dungeon. delicious in dungeon. I, th I think I've seen like s clips and screenshots a lot of that. Have you watched if it or? I were, you, yeah, okay. I'm caught up with it. If I were you. The Japanese from VA, it's it's good, mm -hmm. but it's kind of like watch it in Japanese first. Oh, and then, and watch then go in back to yeah, go back to the beginning, watch it in English. There are some moments it sounds better, more funny in English than the Japanese. Okay, okay. Uh, metaphor re Fantasio RPG. The what? That's a <laughs> the what? <laughs> that's from atlas so their their names are fucking hard at times okay <laughs> <laughs> you know shin megami tensei I like, stuff uh, yeah. I, I was about to say like are, are you okay <laughs> yeah Metaf metaphor re fantasio yeah that's funny um i do want to play that game because it is persona but not persona you know mm -hmm. oh oops let me uh reopen that oh, oh, oh. there we go let me go you back know. there we go and go all the way back down again but uh there we go uh i parry everything uh other stuff for oh okay this is some sort of like partnership or something so yeah for like novels i think they're like night light light novels but whatever all right so that's pretty much sounds like the gist of everything um I may check out the the Guilty Gear anime when that comes out, but there's a number of anime I want to catch or and or uh, catch up on. So it'll take some time for me to actually really even like think about the uh, this all this other anime. <laughs> there's so much anime, dude. It's super saturated, man. It's crazy. Oh yeah, and also there there is that uh. Fairy Tale 100 Year Quest anime that's coming up too. God damn it. <laughs> so much. There's too much too much to watch. Too much to watch. Alright, so I think that's it. Yes. I think that's it. Meanwhile, 
let's go into the games news. Uh, we're all done with the front line. Just shit talking about Anime Expo for the most part, along with the news that's been announced. Uh, let me see. What was it? What was it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Maybe I should put in like a Zenless Zone sound effect or something for that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Anywho. Well, it'll be the sound effect that you got an S and S rank. It's like, like. Oh, yeah. The, 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 uh, the rap song thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, speaking of Hoyo, right? Um, I do want to talk about this, which is like the new region that they've teased um, for Genshin, right? And guess what? Your boy, the captain, is in it's in it somewhere. Wood. Her? <laughs> you would for her? Damn, man. Wood. <laughs> hey, whoa, don't be careful, man. Be careful. Wood. <laughs> The ball. <laughs> Ooh, <ew. laughs> yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pause the screen because it's so funny because that little dragon over there, little pixel looking dragon. Cause first off, that's a okay. I don't know why it's a pixel dragon, but that might be for lore. Anyway, the little pixel dragon is actually Naruto, the same voice actor for Naruto. And then uh, English or the Japanese? Uh, Japanese, Japanese. Because, you know, okay. this whole thing is Japanese. But, um, and then this guy right here, his name is Kanish, I believe. Kanish, uh, is voiced by Sasuke. The Sasuke's voice actor. So, <laughs> they can't escape from each other. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> why does he, the way he looks, mm -hmm. why does he look like a fucking, what's his name from, from Fate Go? Oh, Avenger. I think it's like that Avenger, right? Yeah, it was an adventure. It was like a two year ago fucking event or um, one of the one of the Japanese um, like events. Yes. Or I, the Japanese settings. I believe I know what I'm talking about. He, it's, it's it's a redhead band, dude. Yeah, I think. Well, uh, shit, now nah, nah, I'm going to fucking like. Now nah, it's going to bother you. <laughs> uh, but continue. Uh, I fucking like dig. Well, anyway, I mean, like, I'm going to pause the screen, but um. First off, this guy, he's really cool. I like guys with uh, the headband. They're really, they're really sick. Because I, I, kind of one of the reasons why I, I, I main Alex from Street Fighter. Street Fighter. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but this pixel dragon, is this very, it's been very much uh, speculated that this is the dragon. It's supposed to be the dragon for uh, Natlin. Kind of like how um, Nouvellet was the dragon for uh, Fontaine, which is the the, the most recent uh, region that we're in right now. And then uh, Nouvellet is um, Hydro, a water dragon. So I guess this guy is supposed to be fire. I I'm not sure because it's supposed to be a fire nation, fire region. So or pyro. Fire nation? What? Yeah. What? When the fire Suko? nation attacked? Yeah. When the fire nation attacked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah. So let's go back a little bit because you kind of can hear their voices. <laughs> wood. <laughs> you're saying wood to everyone. <laughs> so you're omnisexual, is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, I've been lying to you guys. I ain't gay. <laughs> Fuck this shit. <laughs> and then just briefly, like this random character, right? Boom. Even though she's was featured previously. And then very important character coming up. Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> Quetzalcoatl, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> There's the pyro icon. The so god that's of fire. Mommy. Yeah. The pyro archon, uh, yeah, is definitely a mommy. Mm hmm. 
And give it your all. I don't wanna. <laughs> <laughs> I like the music. Oh, there he is. The captain. Wood. <laughs> is he? <laughs> Not yet. There's still a little more. It's this lonely road. <laughs> It's the six dragon balls, right? <laughs> Alright, so that's pretty much it. So, Gen of Shin. Gen of Shins. Yep. So, not exactly <laughs> know what they're referring exactly, but I'm guessing this is supposed to, or a lot of people are guessing this is supposed to be, supposed to be like, um, the six tribes within Natlin. And, uh, supposedly they're supposed to be at war right now. Somewhere in Natlin. Even though, like, um, in this whole, like, half, or this whole section was all, like, like, everything is fine. There's no war kind of thing. Oh, they were doing that bossing say. Bossing say, yeah. There's no, <laughs> there's no war here. Mm -hmm. Everything's fine. Yeah. A lot of people have been like speculating this might be like a Pokemon heavy region kind of thing where the like the mechanics borrow from Pokemon, including the whole like monster shit. Um and then the ball is like, I don't know, it doesn't really help that either. Like uh, you know and then like the the dragon thing from earlier as well. And then if you and then there are other trailers where they show off the monsters like traversing through the world so like it um hints that you're gonna use the monster's abilities to like traverse and do puzzles and such um but there's also another trailer where this guy um and these two are like traversing in a very similar fashion of said monsters so I don't know, it may play a part where they actually transform or something, or use abilities, I don't know. So there's a lot of speculation going on. So. But importantly for me, the captain is in the, that region, so he is the next uh, harbinger to be revealed, so. Uh, I definitely cannot wait, and I want to also get the, uh, pull the Pyro Archon, of course. Her name is, uh, Mavuita or something. Ma Ma it's 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 all those names are really hard to remember right now. Um, but I just call her the Pyro Archon. So these two, obviously, and then um, where's that guy? Oh yeah, Kanish right here. This guy looks really cool. So yep, um, there has been some. Uh, once again, controversy and a little bit of drama. Of course, it's Genshin, so there's about to be some people pissed off about something. Um, you know, this world or what or region, excuse me, is supposed to be like representing um places where there's supposed to be more dark skinned people. And they're like kind of disappointed that um no, she doesn't have dark skin and she's supposed to be like the Archon, right, to represent the nation or whatever, so 
um people were all like you know why does she have dark skin why why does she lack the what do you call it the melanin or whatever you call it the thing that actually makes her skin dark right um stuff like that so like i get it but it's like i don't know i think i think this design standalone design is good i like it um but people are like also are like why are they dress this way you know it's so weird in comparison to um the rest of like the region and um if you pay attention to the lore right natlin is also trying to modernize as well as all the other nations or um regions so yeah they got this stuff going on right kind of looks like this like tribal thing in some places especially but they're also trying to modernize as well thus someone like her wearing this like outfit um even her um the little girl on the right or on the left excuse me uh, her name is kachina by the way is also wearing some uh relatively modern stuff like this cap right here you know it's like the what do you call those like those um uh i forget what they're called visors visors thank you visors it's, it looks like a visor right um the rest of her clothes look more modern but it still has like that tribal like colors to it and designs but it looks more yeah more modern than anything um so and you know of course she got sunglasses on so that also throws off stuff as well there was also one more character that was like barely revealed which was um the guy next to the captain which is over right over here so yeah you can kind of see him like Eh, standing off to the right, blue scarf, you know, and then there's the captain, of course. And then there's this uh, phoenix right here, like, uh, what's going on there? Does she, does she turn into a phoenix, or does she uh, have a phoenix? It's Jean Grey. <laughs> yeah, Jean, right? Jean Grey? <laughs> yeah, Jean. <laughs> she's gonna, she's going to blow up everything, right? <laughs> or just destroy everything. Um, and then me, and then, uh, kind of unrelated. I don't know why, but I get Gundam vibes when I look at her, like, shoes and, like, uh, that little found him. protruding thing. Found him? Found, found what? Um, what? I'm, I, I'm just gonna call him Sasuke. What Sasuke look? Found him. Because of the headband. I was like, oh, you kind of remind me of him. From oh, this guy, two years okay. Ago. Okay. So it was an alternate skin for uh, Saka Kintoki. Oh, Kintoki. That's right. Okay, okay. Yeah, this was doing the Nobunaza um, event. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah, so, so I was like, oh, you, you look like him a bit. Okay. Because, the, again, the, 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 I guess it's just the headband um, coloration. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. No, I can definitely see that. Wait, it's uh, I was gonna say though, like I don't know why, but I get like Gundam vibes when I look at the the footwear, like especially with this like off to the side like that, like that protrusion. I don't know why. I don't know what it is. And then obviously, like damn, her eyes, you know, them archons with those eyes, right? You know, Hoyo Hoyo loves to over design the eyes for these characters. But that's just kind of like their shtick. So yeah, obviously she's getting a lot of uh, love and some hate. Just because of, you know, the whole skin tone thing. Which I'm not going to go into too much. But yeah. That's just kind of why people are talking negative about um, this trailer here. So, um, I know you don't play Genshin, but you've been playing like Zenless and stuff like that. So, are you a little more familiarized with how Hoyo works? You know, it fucking sucks on the drop rate. <laughs> I have more fucking fun. Hmm. With 
that shitty drop rate in FCO. You you don't believe that. You do not believe. No, that's not. That's not real. That's cap. That's actually cap, Sala. <laughs> that is actually fucking cap, dude. <laughs> you know it. You definitely fucking know it. <sighs> yeah, because I forgot who cursed me the first when I started to play um F Go. It was either you, Seth, or um or Ender. Kate slash yeah, um, Ender, yeah. Ender saying that. You are mostly going to get from from this day forward CEs <laughs> in every pool. That's like a lot of people's polls, though. That's not a cur that's yeah. And that's, then you mm -hmm. cursed me. No, you you or Seth cursed me when Ku was coming out. Oh, because we both because yeah, we it both was, got Edison and you and then you got Ku when we when when I won a Ku. No. No, it was. I thought, yeah, because right. you're like you guys are saying like, oh, you're not gonna get Edison. You're gonna get Koo first. Mm -hmm. Motherfucker, I got Koo first, and I'm like, Shh. motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, so we we <laughs> Chad, we we have a love hate to each other on the fake goes pools back in the day. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, Hawk yeah. would get the ones that I want. I get what Hawk wants. Thank God I didn't get fucking Quetzalcoatl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want. I, I didn't want her. Right. Thank Thank God she found a home with you. <laughs> yeah. No. Uh, she was. You know, she was really. She was really cool when I first um pulled her and I used her like quite a bit. You know. Same thing with mines and um King Hassan. Yeah. Still, still don't forget. Give someone in that other uh, Discord. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so did you did you get King Hassan? I'm at MP2. <laughs> yeah. So, anywho, um, any any comment at all, like with the designs and anything, like anything else that sticks out to you with these uh characters? I'm just confused on on the overall region. Yeah. Like, what is it supposed to be? A utopia? That, that is tribal? Yeah. That's also um what's also causing the stir, the confusion. Like we don't know what this is supposed to be like representing. And a lot of people were expecting like, oh, this is supposed to be like a Mesopotamian or like uh like Aztec y like Yeah. Um, but the but because there's so much technology in my fucking head, if we go by MCU standards, it's like is this supposed to be Wakanda? You know, yeah, like, Wakanda. Yeah. It's so it's so yeah. advanced, but it does have its roots still mm -hmm. within the modern-ish technology. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good. And then the attire, yeah. the attire is also weird too, because you, yeah, you have the ones that look tribal, like the yeah, little like, girl, yeah, like right in, in a, mm -hmm. and then you have um fucking. Captain Morgan over here. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, your attire looks like, yeah, it's meant for, you know, the sea life. Mm -hmm. You ain't by the sea, girl. Yeah. Here, it may be a Mesopotamian, Aztec ish, yeah. more like Mesopotamian, but it's also like the colors are weird too for it to represent, like, yeah where you know it's supposed to be it's like because i know in different tribes you know color is everything yes you know the colors you represent is your tribe mm -hmm. and so because she's wearing like mostly what like, cool colors is she more you know up in the mountains she's also you know, like it's her yeah her her uh her element already you can uh sort of see with the vision is is the uh, cryo so she's ice ice affiliated So I don't know. I mean, probably and it was, looks like a yeah. ball. Yeah, it's kind of like a summoning ball. Like if you see, if the tribal leader sees this, is like ah shit, <laughs> do what he calls, you know. Because that is exactly up, what I thought too. Like I thought this ball is supposed to be like a message, like, like hey, you're invited to this um like a uh, tournament or whatever. You're you are you are summoned. Mm -hmm. You know, you are summoned to yes. to this hearing or yeah, this to the event. hearing or yeah. She just said like, do I have to? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, like yeah. it sounded like she knew what this ball meant, and she's like, I don't want. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, and then not to mention, right? That what is going on with this pixel ass dragon? Like, why is it all like that? You know what I mean? So, what's what's up? Unless with that? it's like a a demigod, mm-hmm. and that's the only form it can take. Yeah. So it you know like it doesn't like destroy the um the landscape because of its immense you know power. Yeah. Energy. Yeah, because um, well, yeah, dragons as I kind of mentioned uh they're kind of like they're kind of like gods so they they fight uh, they can rival with the archons so they're kind of like they're basically gods got uh archons and dragons uh if i don't hear this fucking dragon say date bio i'm gonna be like i don't like this game (laughs) (laughs) negative review Mm -hmm. yeah if this kid doesn't scream out chidori (laughs) negative review yeah so yeah it's so funny these two are from they're they're Naruto veterans, <laughs> the voice actors. It's so funny. I mean, it's the same thing like with um the Japanese voice, like what I said last last week. The yeah. Japanese voice of uh Bell and fucking Lycon is Haru and Nagoshi from Nagoshi, these stars, yeah. and it's like mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like holy shit, wait, this man cannot escape being a furry. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm not sure what the story on this girl is, and I want to say she's actually the the tribe leader. You know, she's just away from her duties. She's yeah. just like, I don't want to be here. Yeah, I don't want to be there. Mm-hmm. I want to just relax. Yeah, she's got like a leopard tail or something going on too. She the leopard ears, so some sort of hybrid, some sort of uh leader of a hybrid tribe. It looks like. Yeah. See. When she has the ball, she's like, oh. Yeah. It's that time of year it's again. It, yeah. Yeah, it's that time of the year again. Yeah, you're right. Yep. So, uh, yeah, I think it is a summons. Yeah, it's, like, a, I think it's a summoning. Sasuke and Naruto are the uh, messengers, and they're just throwing the balls. Something, like, something to that extent, yeah. So, yeah. And then, yeah, of course, we got the tournament that's coming up, apparently, as told by the Archon. Right. May we play like just a clip of her speaking right now? Mm-hmm. Who's the BA for her? Did they release it yet? Oh yes, they uh so okay, so they do they did talk about um the VAs Thank you. for all these characters that have been dropped so it was all recent so yeah uh mavuika that's what it is yeah mavuika voiced by this person uh, komatsu, komatsu uh ma or mi mika uh mikako yeah mikako <laughs> yeah komatsu mikako mikako yeah kind of a kind of an uncommon name seems like let me try to see what what, she, uh, what characters that she does because yeah I swear I heard her voice before and some of her voice is like can have like that pressing like you know bow down to me or mm-hmm. fucking no. yeah like a yeah very much like a leader oh she she's fucking Maki. From Jujutsu Kaisen. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and from from fucking Freak Grand Order, she's um, the Valkyries and Song Jung. Oh wow. Okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> okay, that this guy. Oh, like King, King of Fighters. She's fucking be Janet. So you know that she can be that seductive, but like yeah. So, be Janet. Yeah. That's. Uh, I wonder why they didn't give her like you know like that. Like, you know those um women leaders but they are like strong they their their voice is like oh damn mm-hmm. yeah kind of goes like what do you want it no yeah, yeah you know that has that that present like oh shit yeah that, that present <laughs> the queen's talking sit down yeah. sit down sit yeah. down shut up look yeah this guy's the only one that really didn't get a good like close-up but he there he is uh ororon that's his name orororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororororor
So it has some sort of significance. Yeah, I'm now I can get that um, BA for oro 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 oro. Yeah. Yeah, Kon uh, Kondo Takashi. Uh, he's Suigetsu for Naruto. He's the shark boy or yeah. the water boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know of Black Cat, but I never watched it. Uh -huh. uh, he's trained, so... Oh, the main character. Nice. Okay. I remember reading Black Cat. Jesus, that's... That's a long time ago. Oh yeah, this uh, Xylonen, whatever. Um, I think this voice actress, the voice, the oh. Japanese one, is for uh, same as a uh, power from Chainsaw Man. Um, what you call? Ororon is a uh, <laughs> he's our boy. Both of them, uh, Potemkin and Vals. Are you serious? Oh my god. <laughs> okay, now that we know who he voices, which voice do you want him to sound more? Yeah, it's like this, this skinny ass kid walking up and just has Botemkin's voice in the. <laughs> Holy shit, who are you? Big Afisto. Big Afisto. Big Afisto. Botem! Yeah. Yep. Uh, oh yeah, so I was, as I was saying, same voice actors as Power from Chainsaw Man. Pretty funny. Uh, Ch Chilai? Chilai? Uh, that one. Oh, si Chilai? Chilali or Sit Lol Lolly? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> His names are hard for me <laughs> this time around. And there's Aja. Oh, I know this. I, Chit Lali. Yeah. Chit, Chit Lali. <laughs> yeah. Chit Lali. Yeah. Yeah. Aja is, uh, yeah. They must see that. Uh, Takeuchi. Oh, yeah. you're Nini. You're Nini from Burn the Witch. Oh. oh. I don't know who Nori is, but she's from Sword Out Online. Which one? Sorry. No, Nori. Oh, okay. I mean, like the voice actress who, who you're looking at. Yeah, for Chinali, she voiced them. Oh, okay. I see. And of course, yes, what Sasuke. Else? Yes. <laughs> Sugiyama. No, you're American. It's pronounced Sasuke. Sasu Sasuke. Yes. Oh man. Oh. Fuck, chit, chit, whatever it is also written from One Piece. Oh. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And then, um. Kachina. Yeah, Kachina. Kubo Yurika. <laughs> When you said Kubo, I was like, what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, no, that, yeah. The artist Kubo? Yeah. <laughs> Voice of the girl? Sure. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> uh, this voice actress for uh, Mualani is the same for uh, Lyria from Grand Blue, Grand Blue Fantasy. Who happens to have blue hair? <laughs> very cute, very cute voice. So. Oh, she's also, um, I think, the main character of Misakoi thing. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, I never watched Misakoi, but I heard people like they love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I, I've heard stuff, yeah. So, yeah, that's the thing. That is the thing. But in, in meanwhile, right? And, um, what you call uh Zenless, that's what we're both playing. Also had some drip marketing going on with their characters, including uh Jane uh Jane Doe. Let me see. Yeah, there you go, Jane Doe right there. You can definitely see it right there. <laughs> Solid. 
You're gonna fall for it, huh? <laughs> I mean, her attack looks cool, and her, um, her, uh, I call them supers. Yeah. Because everyone's cool. She uses, like, knives and but, stuff like that. But wake me up when, um, when I'm, when a male character, you know, shows up, <laughs> like, like, Pique my interest. Yeah, that's the thing right now is that not a lot of male characters are coming up. I mean, the they I are, found, um, but yeah, there are male characters, but it, it was so funny. I, I can't find the posts anymore, but it was so funny. Like, some on Reddit, okay, strike one on that was like complaining, but then, like, there's so much furry characters in Zenless Zone. I'm like, Ben and Lycon is too much. <laughs> I mean, there are other furry characters that are NPCs, yes, but yes, but but like playable is like playable, yeah, like <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess you can count um Neko and Ellen and stuff, but still, I'm like like full flesh fledged like furry characters. We only have two, yeah. Unless you call count them the the mangoes. As furries. Mm. Yeah. Oh, there's also, yeah, there, there you go. There's a male character, but this guy's a, f I believe, to be a four star, or, um, excuse me, a, a wink. Excuse me. Wood. Yeah. Oh, you would? Okay. Is that the ears? I think it's supposed to be a lynx. I'll break him. Yeah. It's supposed to be a lynx, I think. His name is Seth, funny, funny enough. Seth Lowell. A year ago? <laughs> Is he? Yeah, he's like really <laughs> Lowell. Well. Yeah. I think he has the same English voice actor for um Al Haidam, I think, from Genshin. I think. I'm just waiting for the banner that has um I forget her name, but Virgil. Just give me the banner oh, with Virgil. Uh, right? Mi Miyabi, yeah. Miyabi, you want Miyabi? Because I think that's what everyone's waiting for. Yeah, that yeah that's that's that that's that character that everyone's waiting for. Cause she got the the moves, you know. That's the move like Jagger. <laughs> yeah, I knew you're gonna fucking say. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking of um the bong bang bang boos bang boos or bang which is boo. your 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 one like which is the one that you use the most it's either this one the shark one or the uh the electric one it's like it looks like a like a light bulb or something like a black i use the shark one and the other one that has the little black halo but it's the one that has the ether um black hole um okay. stuff to suck things in mm -hmm. because um my team is again ben lycon and um uh, Rina. Mm. Mm -hmm. So once the Mangu does his um dark, dark um black hole attack, mm -hmm. I switch to Rina, and then they because they're you know grouped together, so Rina can just pop off and do the um showering, and then mm -hmm. that procs um Ben to pop in and just smash again mm -hmm. to smash, and then I can just and then I waste his special. You know his shield, and then I do the spin, and then yeah, uh, yeah. So it's like I, I like that. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty uh different but creative team. I mean, Ben is also because fucking sometimes I I miss time. Very, yeah, yeah. The, the the yeah, it's the defense character, kind of like a safety net. Yeah, your comfort. Yeah, character. And then as you and I found out, it's like once he goes into the air, it's like wow, you're invulnerable. Yeah, because like a lot of the character or a lot of the <laughs> enemies do like sweeping attacks, so you're like, yeah, you're jumping over a low, <laughs> so you're just boom. <laughs> so funny. Yeah, and then if it's like a four like NPC and he you know sits on your ass, you're you're just that Squidward meme like mm -hmm, with the butt, yeah, <laughs> the the fucking butt print on his face. Oh yeah, even I, I think like. Somewhere, oh yeah, it's, oh yeah. Even though it says, uh, I'm a cat theorin. Um, yeah, she looks like a fucking mouse slash rat. So I think she's supposed to be some sort of like liar slash undercover agent or something. <laughs> I don't know. 
I I I, I think it's hat. Yeah. <laughs> doubt. <laughs> doubt. Yeah. <laughs> X to doubt. Um. Yeah, because look at her tail too. It's like that's not a cat's tail, man. <laughs> That's not a cat's tail. And those ears? That's not cat ears, bro. <laughs> those are some mouse ears. Bro. Unless it's supposed to be um one of those like weird um cat breeds that has those type of ears. Maybe. Possibly. There may be a cat breed, I do not know. But that tail though, I don't yeah. That don't like a don't that definitely don't like don't look look like it. <clears throat> I do also like they are they are not afraid to show, you know, body fat or like chunky legs. Look look at that the band, yeah, right there. Where oh, yeah, the, the, right the, there. The, the, the thigh spillage. Yeah, man. Yeah. They're not afraid. It's like, yeah. yeah. Women comes in all shapes and sizes and they all they all beautiful. Oh yeah. I mean did you... I can't I can't fucking pull but no I did. I didn't wear I didn't wear pantyhose, but I fucking did wear stilettos because I fucking was cosplaying as um the linger. The, the, uh, the, the, yep, the, the linger, yep, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Six inch uh, stilettos, kids, for ten hours. Does not do not yeah. recommend. How the fuck did you do that? That sound that sounds super uncomfortable. I channel my inner diva and I pulled through. <laughs> It's Once already... I took off those fucking stilettos, they, my friends saw it flying to the other side of the room. It almost like, and it was also bad because they had the screen door open, so it almost went out and over the balcony. I have a like a, I have a pretty gnarly callus on my toe. That's from, and that's just from like wearing work shoes. So I can't imagine what yeah. happens with stilettos, man. <laughs> oh, I I got help from my like. Um, drag queen friends and girlfriends. They're like, is this your first time? Yeah. Okay, here, come here. And so they were actually bandaging my my toes. Like, mm. they were like looking at the stilettos, like the shape of it. And they're like, oh, okay. So where's your foot? So they're like, okay, put a band-aid here. Put a band-aid there. And then they were like putting like little cushions at, mm. at the tip. Okay. So I was taken care of. Yeah. Damn. If I wasn't, I would have like blisters on that day and so Jesus. But, but yeah, they, they were like they were doing like a crash course. Okay, this is how you're gonna walk in stilettos. Yeah. Your biggest your biggest enemy is gonna be grates on the ground, escalators, and stairs. <laughs> and I'm like I was like, okay, how do I get up upstairs? Elevator, honey. <laughs> Elevator. Mm -hmm. and then one of my other friends she was like and when the day is done you're gonna feel weird if, when you take it off because your your foot is gonna be kind of like um conditioned to you know be out you know be on your uh on the balls of your foot yeah oh yeah like, yeah, yeah. Your foot. Mm -hmm. yeah so they're gonna they're like you're gonna have to kind of like force your foot down yeah Cause it's gonna be like sticking up after you take off the stilettos and i was like mm. oh, shh. oh i was yes. like what am i getting myself into and they're like welcome to basic drag queen 101 yeah you're just missing the makeup honey i was like back yeah meanwhile um even earlier on uh Ching, oh, yeah she was ching yi is uh yeah also slated to be somewhere in the later banner yeah so Okay, wait. Before I continue, how far are you in chapters wise? I I I I I just finished the police one, so. Okay. So chapter one so far, what would you grade it? Um, I think it's a B. I think it's just very like, like okay, this is how the world world works, kind of thing. You hire you hire people. You, you have a proxy to help navigate through the hollow. You know, it, it kind of like sets the tone, right? It's a, it, it's, it's a, it's world building, but it mm -hmm. could have done better. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess uh, for me, yeah, I'll give it like a low B. 
Mm -hmm. The, I want to say the second half of that chapter, in my opinion, went a little too fast. Hmm. Okay. Like how so? Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. where did you want like things? I don't know. I want where I, it was more the I wanted more the investigation side. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, okay. Getting the evidence, mm -hmm. but after that one area where you collected the evidence to you know bring up with uh Nicole and them, it's like, okay. Mm hmm. Okay. But I wanted more, like, but uh, like that was the time, like, yeah, maybe exploring the hollow would have been better to kind of like see, like, what else can you do in this in the hollow? Mm -hmm. Can you like sneak in, like, to you know different data banks and like mm -hmm. check records and stuff, or is it just like you are? It's find this trail. It's hard to say because of the stupid TV system. So it's like. You don't have an exactly like, like an idea of what you're doing in the the hollow other than yeah like you're collecting things or you're fighting the the monsters or whatever and like the corrupted or you know and like yeah it, it's very it's very um uh immersion breaking like it's just like it takes you out when you're trying to learn about okay what 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 does this look like what does that look like what is this like you know, especially during um, the part when you're supposed to be putting people on the train so they don't get fucking blown I up. I hate it. I, I, I hated that. Yeah. <laughs> like, the team. At first, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. So I was like, and then, yeah, 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 beep, yeah. Beep. I was mm -hmm. like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, yeah. It's like, 911, what's your emergency? I just committed a crime. Yeah. <laughs> like that I committed a crime. Yeah, just, so like you're doing something pretty serious, but then you're stuck with the visuals of the TV system. So I'm just, so I'm just like, wow. You know what I mean? Like it's just it, this is supposed to be pretty significant. I'm doing something important, right? Well, yeah. It's, and it looks like this. It's like, oh man, that's terrible. That's a terrible way to go about it. You know. So that uh, definitely does not help with the first impression of the story. Definitely. So that's why, mm -hmm. yeah, I give it a B, you know, definitely could have been better. But now, yeah, yeah. But now since you're going to go into chapter two. Yeah. It's fun. No, okay. I'm just going to say that. It, it's fucking fun. It starts to, okay. So it's like kind of gets the, the wheels spinning almost. Yeah. Okay. Get things going. And. And instantly you're gonna you're gonna notice something with chapter two and it's either gonna make you go like oh or is it gonna be like Ooh. okay okay but the uh, I'm just gonna say this you're gonna laugh your ass off when you first when your character when you know either Bell or wise meets Ben for at first it, it's mm. hilarious mm -hmm. I did enjoy which meeting the bellabog people like the bellabog mm -hmm. construction people i did enjoy that part yeah. uh so i don't know maybe when i meet up with i know i'm gonna meet up with uh victoria and then like um that's it right i think that's it for the factions mm -hmm. yeah so yeah, victoria's um chapter chapter something okay 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 Somewhere, somewhere in that story, yes. So we're, we're... Oh, no, no. Next. Oh, the next one? Okay. For, for further in the future. Okay. The future chapters. Okay. Um, But there is one scene in the Victoria chapter that I wish the music choice was had more Spanish guitar. And mm. you'll, you'll see where, where and when I, when you're like, oh, yeah, this could have been Spanish guitar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I did actually kind of enjoyed the police one, the police part. I did like um, her and Zhu Yuan. So that's why I kind of want to pull. It's kind of sad. Like the police part was like fun until, you know, Virgil showed up and it was like, 
Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> You're like, wow. Excuse me. Shh. Mm-hmm. But proxy, <laughs> we have to do shh. Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> Gotta keep it a secret for now. Can't tell them where we are, um, proxy and whatever, right? Because, <laughs> yeah, proxy is an illegal activity, unfortunately. So, <laughs> being a proxy. We'll see. We'll see what happens with that whole, uh, shtick. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it on that. Nice little Hoyo talk. Um, let's just go through these briefly. Uh, meanwhile, there was the Transformers, um, collaboration with Overwatch. We'll play it here. Okay. This... This could have been a better. There, there was a better choice for, um, for Bastion. I'm gonna be real. Bastion should have been Soundwave. Either Soundwave, but because Bastion with that face play, whatever mm -hmm. he could have been Shockwave. Shockwave, either Shockwave or or Soundwave, yeah. But not, but, but because but not Bastion Bubble. is fucking silent. I guess they went with a fucking um. Yeah. What's his face? Is version oh, Bay, of Bay former Bay, Bay former's uh Bumblebee, <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like Bumblebee is not a mute, you fucking idiots. <laughs> Why? <laughs> yeah. And uh, RC is uh, what's her face? Um, I forget her name already, but she's like she was. She... I, I I call her the Sun Goddess or the Sun. Are you serious? You're pulling on. Oh my god. What banner is that? Um, uh, Moon Mother. Oh, you're still pulling for. I already have her. You're pulling for more MP? That... Damn. Yep. Oh my god. I'm trying to save up for a uh, face. It? Um, Summer or Scotty. Oh yeah, Summer Scotty. Wait, you're not going to get. Or are you going to try and get, um, Lady Avalon, aka female, um, Merlin? Oh, is she is she also coming? She's weak. She's the week before Scotty. Oh fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna go with Avalon then. And then the week <laughs> after, the week after Scotty is um oh, Ibuki. 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 Yeah, I'll, I'll go with Avalon then. Fuck. <laughs> okay, it's a good good thing. Yeah, you told so me. it's a good thing you told me. <laughs> yeah, so so it's either you do you do Lady Avalon or you do fucking Scotty, Scotty or you try to do both and fucking. I pray for your wallet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit! I mean, I I mean that's why. That's why God, you know, made uh credit cards, right? The the the, the, the all prayer the, the, made with the Holy Spirit. You know? <laughs> I was like, please. Get... I mean, remember? Sorry, guys. Tangent. Side chart, Yeah. When we used to do uh, live. Um, pulls. You yes. saw me with my phone and the camera, and I have all my figures like you know, fucking the ritual. Like, summoning circle is like, yeah. wait, gotta move this figure now. That's so funny. Oh man, those those are the days. <laughs> those are the days where we could actually spend, spend. Nowadays, it's like, yeah. I don't know. Oh, shit. I mean, I just spent like nine dollars to um buy a skin on um. Fortnite? Um, Fortnite. Oh, okay. It's the shark skin that I've been kind of like waiting for oh, for this season. Oh, I see. Okay, anyway. Right, back to Overwatch. Back to Overwatch, yes. Okay, Reinhardt. Reinhardt as Optimus. Optimus. Very good choice. Yeah, very good. Cho obvious choice, right? But R Ramatra as Megatron. Megatron? Oh, to me, weird choice. Kind of a weird choice, but then again, it's like who else could be Megatron? That has that um, uh, same mindset. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. 
Animation looks but cool and all. <laughs> yeah. But again, like... Yes, you need Megatron and Optimus. Yeah. But... And Bumblebee, because, you know, he's a... He's one of the recognizable. Yeah, recognizable that, Autobots. The one that got me, like, like why, why her? It's RC. RC's the chick, so, he, I mean, you know... She's the female. You, you, you cannot have a lot. <laughs> no sausage fest here, boys. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, because RC's see, been but... appearing in a lot of those shows too. Like, um. Yeah, she she's been getting like a good like, she's becoming a household name now yeah. instead of just like, the female transformer. Yeah. Right. Especially with but you uh, see how like... it's. Mm -hmm. It's like kind of off, um, offsetting ish, because you have Optimus and Bumblebee, so that's two. Mm -hmm. yeah. Why isn't there another Decepticon with a uh, yeah? Megatron? Yeah, that's weird. Where's right? looking Starscream? Yeah, where's Starscream? Where's uh Scorponok? Where's um yeah right like any any of them? Yeah, where's Starscream? Where's Scorponok? Where's fucking Soundwave? Shockwave, Shockwave. Soundwave. Yeah. I mean, if it was Starscream, I think the one that will fit, or kind of fit for Starscream, I want to say, I'm going based on voice because you know the voice can sound familiar, mm -hmm. um, a bit familiar. It will be Junkrat, but then oh, yeah. it's like then if you if you have Junkrat as Starscream, then obviously Roadhog would be Megatron. Yeah. You know, so to kind of like complete that set. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's the? Uh, I mean, I guess oh. I guess Doomfist could have been another choice for. Oh yeah, Megatron. Yeah, you're right. I guess they got they, well. I guess Ramatra needed some sort of skin, so that's why they picked him first off. But yeah, I don't know. And yeah, it it looks a little unbalanced when it's like representation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There should have, yeah, there should have been an even number of Autobots. And ah, fuck it. Starscream could be just be like not cheap, but like safe. Starscream is fucking Pharaoh. Pharaoh, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be pretty cool. Or Reaper, I don't know. For all we know, for, could be could have been Reaper, Reaper because of his voice. Probably would be um, maybe Shockwave or yeah, maybe Shockwave, uh, yeah, or um. Who's got like two guns? Uh, who, who who's a or Decepticon that's commonly associated with like two guns? Anyone? I don't know. Um. Well, I'm trying to think of um. Well, I was going based on like Reaper's voice, so the person, so the mm -hmm. voice actor and the uh, the um, effects artist doesn't have to work too much. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Probably uh, Devastator. Oh, for, oh, Devastator. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but yeah like if you took away rc and then put like a star screen that'll be actually a good like yeah reverse of a two on two mm -hmm. yeah yeah i don't know it's overwatch what do you expect <laughs> so now see now the, the big question on everyone's head minds on this overwatch shit is this gonna fall into like the fucking pit hole that uh kawaii bebop well, wasn't. here it is. There's the bundle for sixteen dollars, right? I I think. But look at yeah, it's like no, actually, well, how much is it each? Yeah, twenty five bucks each. Or fifty okay, bucks so overall. Okay, so it they learned. They learned from the Cowboy Bebop. Mm, what happened? But it's still not that good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if I was gonna go buy this, because this sounds like again a uh, limited time yeah i'll just buy ramatra because i i love playing Mar mm. ramatra and fucking it's megatron yeah and it's megatron yeah yeah one skin is just 20 bucks 50 bucks you get all For everything so yeah so in a sense if you do have money to spare just buy the big bundle just buy that 50 you, yeah you might as well i guess yeah you might as well yeah, you might as well buy you get the, the most bundle. value out of it for sure. Yeah, and that it's probably like 
because okay in my head because of this collaboration now a hasbro might be looking at this to go like hmm, maybe people are are still interested you know with transformers mm -hmm. but let you know let's let's play it play around because yes we have that new transformer year one or whatever it's called it's coming out soon oh that's right transformers one i think it's just called yeah so let me cheers to that you know yeah why, why, see, whatever it, happened to sorry sorry to interrupt you but uh whatever happened yeah. to uh ultra magnus <laughs> wasn't he like like a staple for a while and then just stop using him <laughs> okay so back in the day how hasbro you know did the whole like who lives and who dies it was pretty yeah. much by you know toy sale counts the toys so. yeah the toys yeah so because and that's kind of one of the backstories of the Transformers movie is yeah. because sales was going down. Mm -hmm. So how to get sales back up? You kill one of the lead characters. Oh. And then after that movie went up, when got released, Optimus Prime sales went fucking through the roof. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's because yeah. it was it was a good tactics to trick the general audience kids to go like, oh, they kill Optimus. That must mean, you know, his toy line is Oh, going out. Gonna like, cease. cease. Yeah, gonna yeah. cease. So that's a fucking like when you think about it, it's a dirty tactic. But, but hey, it fucking worked. It worked. They yeah. got money. <laughs> mm-hmm. Gosh, yeah. And and still to this day, I think like after what, 20, 20 plus years? You, you you say Transformers, and they, you ask somebody what is the most rem, you know what's the most memorable scene from there? They're just gonna say the death of Optimus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so apparently there's a there's a there's a sale going on, so you can actually get a little more coin or a little more currency out of your dollar. So if you want to take advantage of that, I guess now, like yeah. But the fact that yeah, still you gotta pay that much money. For four skins is uh yeah <laughs> it's kind of like the ninja think, turtle thing i think it's like four wait should i go into the next pictures because it's the skins plus the emotes oh, oh is it the emotes one, oh right there uh, where yeah oh this one yeah oh this yeah, is the okay, skins okay. so that's the entire pack so we I get see. skins emotes uh voice lines uh -huh. um the you know when you win, you get the the, the victory the pose, pose you know? yeah, victory pose, and, like, the and victory. spotlight. So you get like, mm -hmm. and I think um, from the previews I saw, the Transformer skins does have the transforming sound. So maybe that's why Ooh. it's a little more expensive because that I, that the sound licensing. is actually expensive. The licensing, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of the same situation with the Ninja Turtle thing from Street Fighter. Like it was, it was, they were mad expensive, and then it was like basic as fuck too. Like the whole bundle yeah, thing, yeah. I think it was pretty, pretty mad basic. So I guess at least here, yeah, you get more voice lines and like different little things, little trinkets and whatnot. But still, like, it's it's still like, like you don't even get a chance to you know gotcha your way, like your loot box, loot box your way. You know, remember remember those days? Remember the loot box days? You know, man. <laughs> surprise mechanics surprise mechanics surprise mechanics so um but yeah i mean it's nice that they're paying some sort of respect to transformers but yeah the monetization is still yeah you know you know you know that you know. You know you that you know. know. Yeah. You know. All right. More on games. Um. Apparently, Sony, Aniplex, and uh, Pocket Pair, who develops um Pal World, um, has made a joint venture of sorts. They're partnered to, uh, 
Yeah, so they're responsible for developing the reach of the IP and expanding commercial business endeavors, including global licensing and merging activities associated with Power World outside the interactive game. So that to me sounds like they're gonna try to make this like um, Sony's like Pokemon kind of thing, and if and possibly in the future. I mean, would you? Uh, agree or do you have do you think otherwise or i mean let's, let's just see for now yeah for sure for sure it, it's a it's a wait and see but but isn't it funny it should be like that yeah be, they be all and shit. yeah what's their end game with this yeah right um now what's your angle <laughs> yeah what's your angle yeah yeah we'll see what about what the end game was, is going to be like for this um little venture but it's so funny though because wasn't Nintendo trying to like see if they can sue or something or uh, was it no not yeah. Nintendo uh, it was Pokemon but same thing Pokemon but, company yeah Pokemon company same, same thing yeah weren't they like investigating about this whole thing so huh like it's... they were trying to dig up dirt and yeah and try to bring it to court like you know this and this mm -hmm. I guess nothing happened so they just didn't say anything but um. But could you imagine though if this somehow flourishes, right? And then Sony buys them out. Like Sony will have their own like little Pokemon kind of thing going on to compete with uh, Pokemon Company and Nintendo, pretty much. That'd be kind of uh, interesting. And then you know the whole merchandising thing. Like I wonder what they're gonna try to deal with it. Are they just going to make more plushy or you're going to make plushies out of them or shirts or wallets, you know, <laughs> like what, what, what's that going to be like? Well, we'll, we'll have to, uh, find out. All right. This one involves with Mr. Danny Trejo. Apparently, uh, he, he made a post, right? About what's your favorite game all the time. Uh, and he says, uh, mine, adding um animal crossing while he was at it uh new horizon so he was like holding a switch um and kk slider what's kk slider yeah see now i want to visit his fucking <laughs> yeah, I know, his village yeah his, fucking, his island yeah i wonder so if I he has like a what? taco stand or something yeah <laughs> I wonder. I mean, you know, I, let's let, let, let's just give him give it the benefit of the doubt. Like, like let, let's just say it is a legit post. Like, he actually likes, yeah. you know, Animal, Animal Crossing and all that stuff. I mean, hey, I mean, yeah, like I said, like, what would his village be like? What would, who 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 would be in his village? Right. <laughs> Another thing, you know, probably one of the alligators. The gators, yeah. Obviously, he might again Rayman the cat, the the one everyone was after for. Yes. <laughs> oh, he man. might have um. Well, because you said taco stand, so um, the takoyaki um octopus. Mm -hmm. I have him. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe he has a. Oh fuck! What's his name? It's the ego that everyone is after. Apollo. Apollo. Probably he has Apollo. Apollo. Yep. He might for just like aesthetic aesthetics looking. Um, the two knights, um, mm -hmm. birds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I forget the the eagle one. It was, it was uh his name, and then there's a the chicken one, I think. Right. Yeah. The two knights. Yeah, that's right. Man, I'm 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 kind of sad that Animal Crossing New Horizons hasn't really gotten like anything um, beyond what Else. it had. Yeah, yeah. they kind of just stopped. And then meanwhile, Splatoon is still getting like some sort of like splat fest or something. You know. I mean, hey, I mean, what else could you do in that game at that point? You know, but I I, I would we would love to see more like Nintendo furniture and such. That would have been cool. You know, like Metroid, like 
especially with Metroid 4 coming up. Um, Donkey Kong furniture, like, hey, there, there, there is potential for all that stuff. Oh, if you, uh, you know, log on to these days, you're gonna get the, the fucking Pokemon furniture or whatever. And then, hey, possibly, like, guess villagers or something. You know? That would be nice. But, they just kinda, I don't know, they did, they did the thing. They got a lot of sales during the pandemic, and then that's pretty much it. Yeah, it was cool. I liked the game. It's just, there's nothing not much else to do at that point. Um, but hey, Danny Trejo apparently really likes Animal Crossing, so I thought that was pretty funny. Yep. Of all games, right? Of all games. Assuming that it is a legit post, but anyway. Meanwhile, uh, oh yeah, this is a little clip I wanted to grab. This was so funny. This is from, uh, uh, I forget, I don't know which part exact Call of Duty game it is. It might be the most recent one right now, for all I know. But take a look at this, um, like kill, kill animation. And whoop! <laughs> Bye! Bye! <laughs> he just shot him. <laughs> oh my god. So this guy, so this is a sniper or whatever. He's like, he's trying to, he's trying to snipe down the hole or whatever. This, the window. The, uh, what do you call the, um, what do you call the skylight thing? Yeah. Skylight thing. And then, uh, there's someone from behind trying to do, a, trying to look cool and, do a kill animation or finishing animations instead of just shooting him, right? So his animation involves with walking. So he walks right into the sc the hole and he just falls in. And then he's like, what the fuck? And he just shot him. Like the other dude just shot him. Whee! Yep. Like, hmm. <laughs> that is so funny. I, I man. <laughs> it just kills him. <laughs> well, I gotta say, what is up with the colors with these guns? Like, is that a mod? Is that a? Is that a? Oh, this is a custom paint. Okay, never mind. It's like, is it has like Splatoon thing, but you can also customize um your camo. Hmm. I think I believe uh I believe that's the case because you could do that in I know you can do that in uh, Black Ops games. Because you can like rearrange the logos or whatever, like the icons and all that stuff, and you you can make like characters and shapes out of them, mm. and do like different effects. And man, back in the day, there was a lot of KKK stuff, <laughs> and a lot of other offensive things, including penises. <laughs> People love to make those penises, man, because they because they, they, they thought tee hee, it's funny, it's penis. <laughs> You you know how the COD community is, full of like, yeah, and then you know you get into the um the voice chat of a COD uh, room and it's like, yeah, damn, <laughs> throwing out the N word, throwing out the F word, throwing out the other F word. <laughs> and your mom is gay. Your mom is gay. <laughs> oh man. That's why, like, I I laugh at people saying like you won't survive in in um competitive uh Fortnite um you know uh voice chat yeah, I was voice like chat. yeah and then, and then you go in there it's like this is fucking team yeah. hey, these people these kids will fucking survive in Call of Duty early two thousand yeah. Call of Duty, Duty um, lobbies uh, yeah lobby rooms yeah. They would just fucking call you like so many shit right off the bat. It's like, yeah, dude, you just randomly enter the room and there was just somebody will suddenly just yeah, like, someone be like, hey, it's that N word. What's yeah. up? And I'm like, yeah. It's like I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I never partake part partake in those uh, voice chats, man. Never. It's like once you go in there and you hear that, it's like I'm out. <laughs> yeah. No, I just listened to him. I just listened, man. It was it was funny. 
It was fucking funny. They tried to like call me out and everything. I'm like, yeah, no, hell, fuck that. There's always, of course, those talkers, right? And they just, they just suck ass in the game. And then you, you, you like completely like, like dominate them. And they're just like fucking rage, rage, like rage. Talking. Yeah, they're raging at they're your raging. ass. And they, they call yeah. you a hacker like, oh, and I'm shit. Not, oh, I'm not using my, oh, I'm not using my best loadout. You know, like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. You're just like, shut up. Yeah, it's like, bro, shut just the fuck up. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> and then, like, oh, and it, oh, man, I love how, like, um, they're always bitching about, like, get, you know, getting killed in the same spot. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Like, stop spawn camping me. Stop. Like, yeah, spawn camping. No, stop camping. Stop camping. <laughs> it's like, bro, you're. you're Entering the same spot, the same fucking. I know, way. like you know, you can choose another entry point, right? No, yeah, okay. Flanking, yeah, there's flanking points. I mean, unless it's a shitty map, yes, but there's flanking points, like bro. Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if if even like the running gunning, the running gun style, like even works nowadays. Might be less. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Like efficiently but it, yeah. it does the job but not really does the job yeah i feel like it could it it, it probably works during like um the release day because there's a bunch of like kids are on there and then once you know like you, you, you give it a month like all the sweaties are like the only ones remaining or whatever or more of the sweaties yeah and then like now you're gonna have like the tryhards and stuff that you gotta do the the meta right <laughs> you know man those are the days of the days all right uh oh man i used to get messages too man oh my god oh, yes. the, the xbox messengers are so fun to read yes. oh well play playstation for me but man oh my like, god <laughs> like just watching my cousin play cod you know listening watching things him see getting all the messages i'm like mm -hmm. jesus christ <laughs> Yep. And I'm like looking at my cousin, like getting all these hate messages and stuff. I'm like, because at the time I didn't know what the fuck was going on. So I was like, what did you do? So he shows me the stats card, you know, at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was pretty much dominating. And mm -hmm. I'm like, is that good? And he's like, yeah, this is good. So all these people are like, yes, they suck at us. Because <laughs> there was like one guy talking mad shit. And yeah, we yeah. looked at the previous scorecard. The guy only had one kill and everything else was like death. Like the high death count. I'm like. Yeah. It's like, do we feel sorry? No, we do not feel sorry for these people. We just yeah. point and laugh. It's like, that, that sounds line, yeah. mean. <laughs> it's like, that, that, that sounds mean. No, it's not. No. They deserve 100% of all that. 100%. No, nowadays I just play uh, you know, Hoyo games and sometimes Fortnite, but that's about it. No, no Apex, unfortunately. I've been, I, I, I've been um, hearing about Apex, like something's happening. Like I, I, uh, like like good hearing or like no, no bad, bad. <laughs> okay. With the bat, something's happening with the battle pass. I heard something horrible is ba finally uh happening with the battle pass. Uh, yeah. Okay. So hold. Yeah. Cause like, look, look at this. Reviews on Steam have hit mostly negative following the battle pass announcement. Um, let me see. So, okay. So, this is officially. This is official. This is like from straight from uh respawn or whatever. Uh, battle pass now available per split. One per season. Players can earn uh, first premium BP during the first two weeks of season 22. Obtain uh, levels to obtain final key cosmetics. Example, uh, reactives dropped to 60 per battle pass was 110. Rewards from bass paddle, uh, ba uh, past battle passes that frequently weren't being used uh, have been removed. Free track rewards refreshed uh, 
with the following available across each of the seasonal splits of BP, uh, 200 AC, 7 Apex Packs, 1 Apex Set, and more. Premium track rewards refresh with the following available per Alpes. Uh, okay, let me see. 10 exotic shards, <clears throat> 1 reactive, 1 legendary weapon skin, 2 legendary, uh, and 3 epic uh, legendary skins, seven epic weapon, uh, weapon skins, and more. Twice as many crafting materials across the season, and three more legendary apex packs per battles, uh, battle pass compared to the old one. Um, new offering with... Uh, let me see. Oh, hold on. I feel like there's something different. Hold on. Let me see what's going on. Oh, you have to buy it twice now? Oh yeah, because it's split. That's right. Per split was one. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. Okay. So you have to buy it twice. That's ridiculous. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. They're split. They're splitting the battle pass. So you had to, you had to <laughs> pay us twice as much. No way. Yeah, if that's really the case, that's no, no, bro. Yep, bye bye bye. Bye 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 bye. <laughs> so it's I can gonna be me. <laughs> yep. So I think you can't uh what do you call uh loop the bow pass anymore from what it sounds like either. Because remember uh you just have to put in like the first ten dollars and then you just as long as you keep playing, you can like loop the bow yeah. pass. That's I think that's what they're trying to get rid of. Yeah, charging you twice per season now. What the fuck? Yeah, that's not cool. <laughs> Please deal with the insane cheating problem. It's worse than any other competitive game by a mile. Here's a new way for us to milk your money. <laughs> milk you for money. <laughs> oh my god. So half the stuff, half the stuff, same price twice as often. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, again, like... <laughs> Respawn don't know what they're fucking doing <laughs> again. Jesus Christ. I mean, is it okay at this point? Is it Respawn or Epic that fucking doesn't know what they're doing? Oh, you mean Respawn? Epic is the one that makes um Fortnite. Well, same thing with Epic. They don't. They, they don't know what they're doing. Come on, bring bring back like old skins from past battles, you know, just charge us. Well, it's like the, the uh, that's a that's a I mean, I, I understand like that's that is a problem, yeah. but it is a lesser problem in comparison to this. Like this is like yeah, man. Dude. This is like imagine Fortnite did this. Right? Splitting the fucking thing. Bad, right? Yeah, you have to buy it twice. Jesus Christ. So either you know, like not sales, well, what would you call it? Either the player base is not good when they're trying to like get people. It's like, no, just stop. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the, the, oh yeah, I've seen this. This is the prestige skin for um, Lifeline. It looks, it looks cool. I don't want to right, that. But, yeah, it looks all right, but yeah, it looks all right. It's just. We're not playing the game. That's the issue. <laughs> like my prestige skin, that the only one I have is fucking Bloodhound. Blood that Hound. was it. Yeah, yeah. Finishing Bloodhound's fucking prestige skin was fucking a nightmare. Yeah, I'm. I'm sure it was. From what it sounded like. Like it was. It sounded easy on paper, but executing it, no. Yeah. And this too, like what, like. Why isn't the Apex doing it net, like 
barely anything when it comes to collabs like they've only like collab with they've only like done like the weirdest stuff with their collabs like oh yeah we had this post malone collab thing but they didn't even like do much with it it's kind of just like oh yeah there's there's these like couple of like, these weapon camos but like it's like nothing it's like what the fuck oh they have quads oh shit well too late <laughs> uh you're about six thousand years too late yeah what was this from like years ago like what the fuck back in like 2019 or whatever when that whatever that fucking shit came out Is that a cat skin for uh what's what's his face? Rev Revenant? Yeah, it is. What the fuck? Oh, it's like swapping the costumes for like from certain heroes or certain uh, legends, excuse me. Yeah, cuz there's a um crypto skin for Fuse. Huh. And that's supposed to be um yeah, that's supposed to be Fuse for <laughs> Crypto. <laughs> Oh man. They don't know what they're doing anymore. Man, that's supposed to be Octane that's an Octane skin for uh what's her name? The new character. Um I, I forget. <laughs> Not Scorpinox. <laughs> Not yeah. Man, that's 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 fucked up. Oh, yeah, there's solos. I knew I knew about that one, but yeah. <laughs> Starting with season twenty two, we're evolving Apex Legends Battle Pass to improve your experience and progression goals. Yeah, fucking right. Yeah, buying it twice, yeah, that's a that's a that's progress, alright. <laughs> oh my god. What is that? What is this? What is that game doing, dude? Jesus. Alright, anyway. Let's wrap it up with some movies, uh, anime, and all that stuff with uh, visual entertainment and extras. So... Oh, I'll call his wife. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Shrek 5 is a thing. Yeah, we cannot play this video because there's a song on there. Yeah, a certain mm -hmm. song, yeah. The All-Star Returns, that's funny. <laughs> but yep, all the familiar people are coming back with uh, Mike Myers, Eddie Murphy, and Cameron Diaz. But, they're... but see, they're only saying those three. Yeah. So now the question is, where's Antonio Banderas? Where's, <laughs> um, you know, Puss? Puss in Boots, yeah. Probably with his um husband death. Oh, okay. Did something happen in the the Puss in Boots movies or something? Uh just a lot of um furry ship both yeah. Puss in Boots and, yeah. and um death. Yeah. Okay, be honest. Did did a number five need to be made? I don't even know because like I have I I stopped after two. <laughs> very good. <laughs> it's yeah. like very good. Yeah, like man, two was peak. Mm hmm. I, I like two. I like two. But three was like ah, I, I don't remember. I don't think I ever watched it. Nor do I care. Right? It's like I I already checked out at that point. There's. And I guess it was a fourth, <laughs> I guess, you know, so, yep, fifth, you know, there's number five, I guess they're really trying to keep going with it, you know, it's so weird, it's just like one of those movies, it's like, you just never ever thought would have gotten this popular, so fucking weird. Like, it is, yeah, like, largely thanks to, like, the memes and shit. And all the, like, weird internet lore <laughs> with Shrek. But, yeah, I, I don't know, man. Weird. Strange. Alright, next, we do have this, which is, um... 
A animated trailer for Magic the Gathering's upcoming uh uh Bloom Burrow, I guess. But I don't know. It reminded me of uh what's that what's that called? Uh Secret of the Nymph. Yeah. Secret of Secret of Nymph. It's a children's show, a movie, right? No, it's not. Yeah. This also reminds me of um, what was it? What's that other anim animal uh, movies back in the nineties? Uh, it had the hedgehog and a, a skunk who was like dying because of poison. Um. It definitely brings like some sort of nostalgic vibes. Hedgehog and Dying Skunk. Once Upon a Forest. Oh. Damn. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> hey kids, if you wanted to know how old I was, <laughs> look up how old that movie is. Yeah. How old? Hey, when was this? 1993. Oh. Damn. Yeah, this could easily pass as like a movie or a show, like a uh, Disney or not Disney or whatever Disney streaming show. Like, damn. Yeah, and you wouldn't you wouldn't say that. Like, if this didn't have Magic: The Gathering, this could have been its own thing. Yeah, this could have been its own thing. But no, it's just for a set, like a new set of cards. Yeah. So it's just a little promo thing. I will eat you, little bee. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> 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 oh no! It's the spirit. It's the uh, the forest spirit. Yep. From oh, Princess Mononoke. Yep. <laughs> Don't cut its head off. <laughs> mm hmm You know, even that, even Princess Mononoke was not a child-friendly movie. Oh no, not at all. That thing was nightmare feel. Oh yeah, for some. I was I was so sad when um the what was it the the mother like wolf? Oh, the mother wolf was yeah. dead or whatever. Oh my god, I felt so sad. I do like if you saw the um behind the scenes the the v um uh, the seiyu for yeah. the um mother wolf the the iconic laugh like. Well, it was a. I think it was it, it was a guy, but you know they were like um an entertainer. Let's just say that. So yeah, drag queen and stuff. Yeah, drag queen. Yeah, yeah. So Miyazaki had to ask ask them, you know, like, can you do some several of your laughs? Blah blah blah. Okay, not this one, not this one, and then just out of nowhere, that iconic laugh showed up, and he's like, Miyazaki's like, what was that? Do it again. Mm -hmm. We found it. We found it. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. I was a sad little boy when I saw that happen. I I, I like the wolves. They're really cool. I think yeah, Mono 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 Mono. Okay, funny enough, is like, I think my favorite movie. Might be tight with something else, but I have I have to check. But uh, I mean, yes, you could say Mononoke. Um, Totoro was good. Kiki's. Um, Kiki, Dobu. yeah. Um, then you have Pokoroko. Yeah. Nasaka. Um, Howls. So you you have a lot of good good movies. Then you have you know like whatever. Uh, I don't. I don't particularly like uh, Ponyo. I'll watch it, but I'll yeah. be like, yeah. <laughs> I, I that's, yeah. I have not watched Ponyo to this very day. Man, Grave of the Fireflies! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> now you remind me. That's what I need to play for my niece when she's two years old. <laughs> we're just gonna be like, we're gonna watch a cartoon with Uncle. Three minutes in, why are you crying? <laughs> why are you crying? Yeah, <laughs> about that. About that. Well, <laughs> anyway, cool, cool looking trailer, but um, you know. Thought I throw that in there because it, it does bring those vibes like very nostalgic for those like 90s like animal movies that are animated. You know, there were a bunch of them like, back in the day. Um, especially, uh, oh my god, it, it's such an easy one, but it's like I can't say it. It's like, uh, what was it? Um, oh, American Tale, was it right? I think it was. It's a mouse that goes, uh, that comes from Russia. He's a, he immigrates to uh he's an immigrant to America I think, and like um is like friends with a big ass cat, that fat cat or whatever the orange one, mm -hmm. yeah. And then there, there's it took that a while to to watch that movie, yeah, like to finally get to you know to watching it. And I'm like, mm. yeah, uh, yeah, I think it is American Tale. And then there's one called, there's there's the sequel I think. Oh called. yeah, Amer American Tale, and then American Tale Five O Goes West. Yes, yes, I was about to, I was just about to say that. Yes, I didn't care for the first American Tale, but when he went to the West, yeah, that that's when it was like, oh, this is actually kind of cute. Yeah, very think, much you know, more lighthearted it, than the first one, because I think that one was pretty. The first one was fucking depressing. It was fuck. depressing. Like, you're, it was depressing because <laughs> you you were looking at what um you know people who were trying to immigrate to america had to go through yeah yeah and it was like during i think um world war one of the world wars one i think it was yeah it's one of those wars yeah or base yeah it might have been based off of during world war one or two or something some something like that and then that I that iconic freaking song somewhere out there. Oh, look. Yep. And then there was uh uh was it was a great is it great detective mouse or whatever great, oh, mouse, the detective? great mouse detective. Yes. Made in 1989 mm -hmm. by Disney. How do I know that? Because <laughs> I did. I, I think I told the hawk. This long time ago, I did a fucking Disney Renaissance binge. Mm -hmm. Like you start at the eighties and then you just fucking go all the way to through the nineties and up to like the early two thousands. Right. That was a fucking trip. Yeah. To see the different art styles and how like you could tell like what stayed in what era. Yeah. Man. In, uh, And then, uh, yeah. uh, oh yeah, Fox and the Hound. That, oh man, oh yeah, that was a depressing one. That was also pretty depressing. <laughs> why? Every why, animal. Are these, why are these animal movies were so depressing, right? Including Bambi. Like, god damn it! Oh, well, that's why I need to also make my my niece watch. We're gonna watch Bambi. Mom's nice. Okay, that's oh. it. <laughs> Moving over. <laughs> Moving over. <laughs> Oh man. Wait, does Bambi live? No. Bambi died from the cold. <laughs> from depression. <laughs> no. His father abandoned him. Yeah. It's always funny to hear like kids thinking Bambi was a uh, thought was Bambi was a girl. <laughs> oh man. I mean, yeah, sure. Sure kids. <laughs> If Bambi was a girl, that means you watched the first technically lesbian, <laughs> you know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I mean, it's the same thing with Blue's Clues. For for longest time, I thought Blue was a fucking boy dog. Same. 
I absolutely thought. And then was... someone's like, someone whacked me across the head. It's like blue's a girl. Yeah, my yeah. I think my sister told me, uh, blue blue was fu was a fucking girl. I'm like, no, no, she's not. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> what are you talking about? You know. And then thanks to Blue's Clues, I kind of learned the birds and the bees thanks to Mr. and Mrs. You know Pepper and Salt. Ah, uh, yeah. Who made their baby paprika. <laughs> Explain. Yeah. How does Salt, that yeah. pepper equals paprika. <laughs> it's like someone's been messing around with someone else. I can oh, tell you that. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> he is not the father. <laughs> they, they're going to be on Mario's like... show. <laughs> they're going to be on the Mario show. Salt, you are not the father. No. <laughs> No, Pepper, how could you? <laughs> I love you. You see Pepper going like, yes, yes, yes. Pepper, Pepper, I thought we had something special. <laughs> you and I were together for this I... longest time. <laughs> who, who did you do it with? Hawaiian salt. Oh, <laughs> or a pink Himalayan salt. salt. Himalayan pink salt. Himalayan pink salt. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> So you know what you do, you girl, you do you. <laughs> that still don't explain how paprika was made, but all right. <laughs> all right. Actually, now I want to know what the land before time was depressing. Yes, especially when the mob died again. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's... There was a. Uh... There was that really niche, old, but like fucked up one. Uh, what was it? Was I think it was yeah. called Battle Battle on Waterlog or something. It's about the rabbits, or it's it's, it's more it's with oh rabbits. Watership Down. Watership Down. Excuse me. Oh my god. Why? Why? Did I... Man. So Watership Down, kids. It's much more grittier and darker in the in the actually in the novel, like the book oh, that's based. Geez. Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so I put depressing animated movies. All dogs go to heaven. Oh yeah. 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 Brother Bear is fucking depressing when you you know get to the second act. That one's pretty foggy for some reason. I know I watched it in this, in, in school, but I've only watched it once, so I, I, I that's probably why it's, it's fucking foggy. I have watched Yeah, it the last unicorn is depressing. That one I've not watched. <laughs> the never ending story, yeah, it can be depressing because that one scene. Goodbye, horse. Yeah, the horse. Man. On a, depending which version, Charlotte's Web is depressing. That one is also, yeah. Because oh, one, you had Wilbur almost being slaughtered. fucking you know, slaughtered. Yep. Then you're technically watching Charlotte die. Yeah. Like you slowly she... age to die. Yeah. Made the babies. And then the babies left, except for what, three? Right? And then he named the yep. and then named the named the three spiders or whatever the fuck after or something. Yeah. It's such a like weird. It's not. I mean, it's not like weird, weird, but like it's such a weird story in a sense that like it's just a it's just a story about um oh this pig is oh it's 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 special because it's this yeah, yeah. you know it's written on the web. <laughs> it's this, but no, it, and that's where people got the misconception that yeah. it's a Wilbur um, movie. It's like no, it's actually Charlotte. Yeah, it's Charlotte. Yeah, it's a movie about Charlotte. Yeah. Yeah, she's. It's all about her. Charlotte is telling the story, Wilbur, to us. Yes. Yep. And then she had to, had to go. <laughs> uh, were, were there any other ones, or is that it? Any other good ones? I mean, good ones. Yeah. 
I mean, you could see the first rescuers because, you know, it kind of like show like ah, oh, right. kidnapping and like child abuse and isolation. Mm -hmm. But it, it does have its um, like light part hearted moments. Yeah. I mean, you could say what like else? 101 Dalmatians is kind of dark in a sense because like Cruel De Devilla or whatever, like why don't yeah, you get the puppies to, to kill? Yeah, they killed the puppies or whatever. Yeah, dude. That's some that's some dark yeah. shit. So yeah, I want to make I this want, fur coat. <laughs> I want your fur. Yeah. To make my coat. Yep. <laughs> Fucked up shit. I mean the Lion King is all dark, but that's yes. because it borrowed heavily from our Hamlet. Yeah. I wish uh, they can't. Well, the Little Mermaid is not. It's not even dark compared to the actual story. Yeah. yeah. For kids that really loves the Little Mermaid, don't read the actual story. You're 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 not gonna like the ending. <laughs> she bleeds to death. So yeah. So. <laughs> I mean, same thing with Cinderella. Same with Snow Hercules. White. Same with Hercules, dude. <laughs> Fuck. Hercules is the most inaccurate portrayal yeah. of Hercules and the Greek gods. Yeah. Wow, Hera loved Hercules, though. Like, no, she did not. Hated his ass. Hera hated all of the bastard children of fucking mm -hmm. Zeus. Yeah. Zeus is fucked oh, up. Oh, Hades. Yeah. Hades was a villain. No, actually, Hades was the most chilled he's the, out of all the Greek the gods. He's the fairest. He's the old, yeah, and fairest of the siblings, the three brothers or whatever. But he had to get the underworld. <laughs> he got the short end of the stick because yep. big little brother Zeus wanted to fucking be on top. Yep. Which again, we gotta remember, guys. Out of the three brothers, Poseidon. <laughs> Uh, Hades and Zeus. Zeus is the youngest. Yeah. Hades is the oldest. And Poseidon is the yeah, second oldest. Yep. The middle. The middle kid. Uh, what else? What else was depressing? Besides Fox and the Hollow. We all go watch depressing movies. <laughs> yeah. Let's have a. I'll just spend my two two weeks just watching depressing fucking uh cartoons. <laughs> That'd be funny. Depressathon. <laughs> Perfect Blue is very depressing. Have you ever watched that? Oh, was it or is it? Okay. Yeah, Perfect Blue is actually really depressing. Okay. Um, oh yeah, Princess, the tale of Princess Kaguya is also Wolf Children is so fucking depressing, right? Oh, remember Balto? Yeah, go... You just remind me of Balto, man. Yeah, Wolf Children is depressing. Um, there's that other oh, the girl who left through time is fucking depressing as oh. well. When you learn, when you know what happened, uh huh. Your name is depressing, but. Yeah, you kind oh, yeah, of, yeah. Kind of, you kind of get over it, like yeah, gradually. Yeah, it's because it's like you knew they were gonna find each other. Yeah. Yes. Uh. All okay. right. So let's just go ahead and wrap up the rest. Um. Yep. So, did you watch this uh, trailer with uh, Brave New World? Yes. What did you think of it? So, all the people saying that Sam is not um, Oops. Steve Rogers is like, yes, it's been established. And it's also been established that Captain America is a title. Mm hmm. And they're Okay, so for some people, what they they call it the big elephant in the room, of you know they had to recast, um, recast, um, you know, 
Oh yeah, with Harrison Ross. Ford. Yeah. Harrison Ford. He looks good. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but yes, it's gonna be distracting because you know we've been seeing. We saw the actor who played um, General Ross since you know um, Universals. Yes. Um, Hulk. Hulk. Incredible. Mm -hmm. Incredible Hulk. Yeah. Oh yeah, and then that okay. that guy, uh, fucking Esposito, is in the movie too. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, there, there you go. There's es Esposito. <laughs> I <laughs> just randomly there. I like how he looks like this is just an everyday job for me. Yeah, right? <laughs> just another day. Another job. I mean, I like him as an actor. I just hate how he's sometimes typecasted to be a villain. Yeah, like he's always like, that. Yes, like, he ha like yeah. yeah, he has the face for it, but enough already sometimes. Yeah. Like, he has he he, have, he, like, he has other like ranges. <laughs> yeah, let him be like a fun character, not yeah. like I'm serious man or mm -hmm. that shit. Oh, I'm the I'm the bad sir. The, I'm the bad uh businessman. <laughs> I got my face blown off from that one scene in. Oh yeah, oh yeah, and then, oh, yeah, and then General Red Hawk, Red Hulk. Yep. So yeah. Neat. <laughs> Got the yeah, red hawk. I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna watch it and I I I also love how people are like, wow, it looks like shit. The CGI is off. It's like these are trailers. These are not the final product. I, I I think they're trying to really nitpick at it, but um, there is a story of I've heard about this movie that they reshot this like like what was it like three or four times or something. Yeah, they had to reshoot it because um there were particular scenes and there is a character that's in there that's supposed to be you know um a palestine um superhero oh you know, that's today's, right today's today's you know yeah climbing. yes yeah it's like i think the character will still be there but you know just like less in it yeah just cut a bit yeah yeah because i think in the well okay um, I just I just read some of the backstory on it, like they're, they're, uh, like she's an actual like super villain or something or super whatever, right? But in this one, she'd be, just be an agent or whatever. Is that am I reading that correctly? Like a regular like human kind of situation. I don't know, but. I mean, just judging from the trailer alone, it looks fine. Looks um, like actually... a lot of people are also saying that this is giving um, Wind Soldier vibes, like the, the the setting, the mood. Yeah. So I'm like, yes, because now that um, you know, it took a while for Marvel to wake up and yes. get out of that um, that um, headspace of like, oh, because the pandemic hit, we you know, pump out, pump out, pump out. It's like, yeah. oh wait. Maybe we should take our time now. So, yes, yeah. that's what we've been saying. What, because in my eyes, what should have been happening during the pandemic was the TV shows. And then, because what our pandemic lasted like what at least four years. At most four years, yeah. Okay. Let's just say. So let's, let's say the start should have been TV show year one TV show, year two TV show and a movie. Year three, TV show. Year four, movie. No more TV shows. And then, you know, start gradually, like, just releasing little by little. Not like... Yeah. Yeah, there was a, there was a lot of stuff going on uh, during the pandemic. It felt like... Because now with the Deadpool and Wolverine, a lot of people are going like, oh, am I going to have to do homework and stuff? It's like, kind of. Yeah, because uh, aren't they going to, like, reset the thing anyway? So, 
in actuality, Deadpool 3 is the cause of the whole Kang thing. So the whole multiverse shit is mm. because of Deadpool 3. So whatever oh. Deadpool 3 does throughout the film is going to kind of like connect all oh, because this happened. That's why we had um, uh, WandaVision because of mm-hmm. this happened. Um, uh-huh. We had Doctor Strange 2 and the Multiverse of Madness. And because, yeah. you know, so it's kind of like that first you know, piece of the puzzle. Mm-hmm. And yeah. then gradually we end up on um, Secret Wars, which is the soft re- uh, reboot of yeah. the MCU. Uh-huh. Which is the one I'm waiting for because after the soft reboot, now we're going to get like the actual like stars of the MCU. So right. X Men, Fantastic Four, and the likes. Mm hmm. I mean, there are there are talks because you know our con Disney's contract with Sony with Spider Man is going to end again by the time Secret Wars come out. So I think Marvel is trying to like hurry up to try and grab the rights again to mm-hmm. uh to the you know the Spider Man you know mythos and rights because. Wow, Sony, you fucking really dropped the bomb again on the Spider movie, Adam Boyd. Yep. And then, they, and lo and behold, everyone, Craven is coming out not anytime soon, but at the end of uh, December. Because they're doing reshoots and reevaluating. Are they actually? The, oh, wow. Beca- yeah, so the Craven movie is going through reshoots again because of how badly fucking Madam Web got bombed. So they're thinking Craven's going to be their, their winning, you know, their winning hand. It's like, no, yeah. just give back the rights to tomorrow. Yeah. MCU. Because, I mean, it, it's kind of like, yeah, Marvel's Marvel at the moment has too much to juggle. Well, Sony, you had all this time to properly make a, you know, Spider, a Spider-Man, you know, universe on your own. Mm-hmm. But you've just been pumping out that. Yeah. The only good Spider-Man shit you guys had was the Tobey Maguire. And then you did a fucking reboot of it with Andrew Garfield. And then you do another fucking reboot with Miles Morales. Mm-hmm. Which a lot of people are thinking after the second part of um, the Miles Morales um, movie. Because this is going back on how Tom Holland said he doesn't want to play Spider Man all his life. Yeah. So probably people were tinfoil hat thinking, like, oh, maybe the this upcoming Spider Man movie. Tom Highland's Spider Man dies mm-hmm. right before Secret Wars starts, or Peter Parker MCU dies, and that's what kicks off the Secret War. And to replace to replace my, uh, Peter Parker for the new MCU, Miles Morales from Spider-verse. the movies, yeah. Spider Verse lands in the MCU because. Uh-huh. We last saw him running away from uh, Miguel and the other spider people. Okay. So why not go to a universe that is technically, you know, like brand new, but he has no, um, what what should we call? No eyes on it yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, perfect. Yeah. And that is a... Marvel 101. Yep. Alrighty. Uh, this one, up, uh, lastly, does involve a crunchy roll, as we kind of mentioned. Uh, this was um, involving with crunchy roll, apparently using AI generated, uh, uh, generating um, subtitles. And I guess the comments were so bad that they shut off the comments. And then now people are like, turn on the comments back on, turn the back comments back on or whatever. So, um, so it's okay. Let me see. So 
Yeah, I mean that's really all, all we can go off of. I mean, in in the uh, the sub, the I forget which one showed up. Um, I I, th I thought I had the the other link for it, but it was one of the newer ones. Obviously, that's where it started to become apparent. So, did you catch wind of this at all with Crunchyroll, or this is new to you? See, just ban it. <laughs> um, sorry, I was asking you, like, did you catch wind of the uh country roll stuff with the uh, yeah, and I was just saying, damn it, country roll. Oh, oh okay, okay. I, I, sorry, I didn't hear you. Um, yeah, I mean, this one, this one's a little weird because there are people who are trying to like. Who have like a counter argument or some sort of argument <clears throat> regarding to how localizers slash translators work nowadays to yeah. where um like actual like people right um to where <clears throat> sometimes not all the time but sometimes they go out their way to sort of like insert their political agenda so they, so they like purposefully misrepresent some things or they change up some things about this part of the story or this character or this and this and that, you know, um, I think there was some sort of rumor about like one of the new Persona 4 like remakes that the mm -hmm. subtitles were going to be different, like madly different because it was because they, they um, apparently had brought on a translator or localizer that was kind of infamous for that i think it, this is all just rumors by the way so i don't know if that's even true but those those are some talks about that um so i i have i have, I, per, I personally have not seen like a actual instance of like that happening but that's that's just what i hear that translators like to like you know um do that quote unquote so I don't know. I mean, like, how how do how would you how do you feel about that? Like, do you think that this is where the line gets drawn, and this is where um, AI can be brought on board for this for this side of things, or do you still think like, no, like I think AI shouldn't be shouldn't like take people's jobs, or like I don't know, like uh, should... like AI should just be a tool to help, but you yeah. gotta have the common sense to like for translating, like go like hey. You know, this sentence structure doesn't flow correctly. Yeah. You know, flow well. Mm -hmm. That's why, like, I forget which voice actor was, like, explaining how um, translating um, uh, the Japanese script to English script and trying to uh, match up the... Oh, the mouth flaps? Lips, yes. the, 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 yeah, the mouth flaps of sometimes they have to use different words to mean the same thing to just match the the yeah. tone the, and the the, the pacing the pacing the yeah the the uh the syllables right the number of syllables yeah. and like yeah yeah right and they said that's why sometimes when it comes to the west it takes like at least a year alone yeah for translation yes to get script translation yeah Uh, and I was like, yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, I, I understand that. I can also see that. Right. So, probably why that's also probably why they want to use, start using AI so that um, you know they can like speed up the process. You know, whereas you know you have people who have that nuance who have the emotional sort of nuances to be able to like pick out the right words or like pick out some things to keep it um to the writer the original what do you call it, author's intentions right but also to localize it for someone like us you know like the west or whichever country right you know that's the title localizer right localization you know what i mean it means that's 
it's more familiar with our you know local language you could, if you will right um but you know again like i like i said like um you know these are people right so that means they can like insert their thoughts their opinions their you know again agendas political agendas and all that stuff to uh, which in process misrepresents this character or this specific thing or this context or whatever it is so you know that's i, I don't know it, it is that one this one is a little harder to say like i would like to say you know as much as i hate ai like um yeah like obviously we should have people right to do this this sort of job you know i think at the end of the day i think we can still have people working and i i would like to you know kind of stay away from ai as much as we can before ai really takes over you know of, of like a lot of things and like you said i think i think yeah ai it would be a great tool f to assist the translators and such like that but as a me as a main means to get that job done i yeah obviously having AI doing all the work is like, you know, that, that, that goes against, uh, you know, what I've been saying about AI and such like that for in, in writing and creativity, art, you know, well, well, all that stuff. I'm not, I'm not going to repeat myself again with that stuff, you know, but I, but in this particular case, I can kind of see where the people are coming from with that um very specifically like very very niche little point you know which is yeah. to, to eliminate like the self-insertion right and not only that they can you know cut the time get it out there but you know i i think it's still too soon for that yeah. you know and there are bound to be some like bugs, right? So like you'll you'll probably find some like weird typos or just weird sentences or something. I'm sure. Yep. Um, you know. But the fact that Crunchyroll went ahead and disabled the comments and stuff like that, I think it says something for sure. Yeah, it's a, it's it's like they they got caught and yeah, and they're just not handling it well. Yeah. Yeah, somebody somebody is like kind of agreeing to the uh self insertion thing. I don't really like AI, but if it can push out the self insert translators, then it can be a good thing. You know. So that's just kind of like the idea of this sort of argument comes from or is sort of stemming from, right? So this particularly is harder to say a little harder to say but I, I still i think we can still have people i think though you have to make sure those people do their job instead of like oh yeah you know and my insert my beliefs my agenda or my stance on this particular topic or whatever you know like um for i'm just hypothetically speaking right um there's a whole thing with one piece right about yamato um there is yeah. yamato is a character who uses male pronouns uh self-proclaims to be odin right but a lot of the localizers or translators then write off write her her off quote unquote as a male character or trans character right yeah. when that is not the intention of oda Oda is trying to portray Miyamoto as more of like an admirer of Odin and wants to be Odin. Odin, excuse me, not not Odin, like you know Thor. Yeah, not, you know, not, Thor. not, not the Greek, not the not, Norse god. Of... No, not the Norse god. Oh yeah, Odin. You know, um, she 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 wants to be Odin, not to be male specifically. Does that make sense? Yeah, like she wants to be like a hero like Odin. To the point where she wants to be like like become odin it's almost like um think of it like uh you know um like gwen you know you know there's spider gwen who who who, who yeah. 
wants to be like Spider-Man, but but um obviously still not a doesn't become a man or anything like that. Yeah. But is a Spider-Man. Like is she is a Spider-Man in a sense. <laughs> so same here, right? But yeah. you know, whoever whoever started this whole thing, like, yeah, as much as I would you know, as much as I would hate to say this, you know, Yamato is not a trans character. Is uh, you know, Yamato is supposed to be, as Oda has said, a female character. But there's just this been going, there's been this ongoing back and forth. Even though Oda has already said it, there's been there's still those people out there that write off Yamato as a trans character when there's actually an. When there's a, when there's an actual trans character that they don't even take the time to talk about, which is Kiku, yep. they're not focusing on that character. They're just so focused on Yamato because Yamato, at the end of the day, is like more you know like pop, like a popular cooler design, right? Because yep. got the horns, got the hair, got I don't know, like she you know she's Kaido's kid, you know, so. Right, she she's more popular. This is what it is, and they probably know it, right? Or they're well aware of that. But Kiku is a side character, more of a side character than anything. So, you know, as as Kiku is cool and all that stuff, she is a, she is definitely more of a side character. So I find that funny. Like that, yeah, like they don't even they don't like glaze um, Kiku as much as they do try to glaze Yamato. You know, like yeah. So that's 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 a that's definitely a possible scenario if not if it has not happened already. Because yeah, if you look at the One Piece wiki, um, they list um, uh, Yamato as male when that's incorrect. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to argue about that. It's just... Yeah, like to me with. I'm just going to try and keep it very fluid. Yeah. My interpretation of Yamato, she just wants to be, as you said, like Uden. She just wants to be well known. Yeah. And in her mind, she has to be strong, mm -hmm. like, like male strong. But she will still call herself as a female. But yeah. She just wants to be, has that. Um, she wants her name, it's pretty much she also wants her name to be, you know, feared but well known to the rest mm -hmm. of the world. Like how, like how in One Piece, you say Whitebeard, everyone fucking is panicked. Mm -hmm. You say Boa, you know, like Boa, Han Boa Hancock, everyone will be like, oh, like a little afraid, but yeah. someone will be like admiring her. Yeah. Yamato doesn't want that. She wants you to fear every time you say her damn name or you acknowledge her that she's mm -hmm. she's the you know one of the best warriors ever. Mm -hmm. So you can think of that way, everyone. I'm like yes, yeah. Like, like again, to put it plainly, she wants Yamato wants to make a name for herself. She wants to use her name to carry out her legacy that she's trying to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I'm sorry when you say when you hear Mononosuke right now, <laughs> that doesn't bring fear. Mm -mm. And it's not yet anyway, but not, not right now. Yeah, not yet. Yeah, <laughs> you say Kaido, you say Kaido, everyone fucking fears. Mm -hmm. You see, yes, you, you say Big Mom, everyone fears. Mm -hmm. So it, it's an it's kind of like, yeah, she wants to make her legacy, she wants her name to be like both, you know, like strong name that you know everyone can admire but for her enemies you don't know, fear it yeah and then to hop on to you saying spider Gwen and how she's a spider man mm -hmm. brings up again what stan lee was trying to tell everyone yeah anybody can be spider man mm -hmm. you can be spider man that yeah. asian kid down the street can be spider man your best friend who's african-american can be a spider man but my only thing, again, this is just um, uh, what's it called? Just condensing it. Peter Parker always has to stay white. But yeah, the moniker of Spider-Man can be anybody. 
Yeah. But character of Peter, Peter Parker has to be this. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And that was just the that was just the one rule for Peter Parker and Spider Man. Mm -hmm. That right. simple, right? But no, everyone fucking tries to blow it up and it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, like that. It's like, it's like Miles Morales cannot be Spider Man. Why? It's like why? Mm -hmm. Right. He is Spider Man. He's not Peter Parker. He's yes. Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Yep. Just like Gwen Stacy. This is Gwen Stacy, but she calls herself Spider-Gwen. Yep. She wants to make a name for herself. And yeah, it's, it's all a name. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Names are powerful. If you go by um, old, old mythology. Yeah. How do you defeat a, how do you defeat a, a demon? You learn its name. Names are weapons. Uh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Little tidbit history here, kids. Yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Name, names, it, it, it exists for a reason, right? It, you know, right? Um, that's why you also have like the groups with names, right? Oh, the seven. Oh, you know. Oh, the the war, the, the seven the warlords. Seven oh, the warlords. you know the uh the, the four wait. um. No emperors, emperors, right? Four emperors, yeah. uh, and then in Bleach, you know, you have the uh, Spada, right? Right. Yes, but uh, you have the Soul Society captains. Those, like, and in the video, captains. video games, mm -hmm. you have Organization Thirteen. Yes, yes. Names, man. man. Titles. Man. Yeah. Then, oh shit! I have enough coins on Overwatch. I just bought the bundle oh for my. free, technically. Oh my god! For a Megatron. Wow. Well, there you go. My work year is done. <laughs> my work years. And I guess from when this uh, video is uploaded, right now it says there's nine days left mm. to you know, buy to buy the uh, Transformers stuff. So yeah, we're recording on the 13th of uh, July, just to reference yeah as a reference yeah okay so it, it it did lower because i just bought megatron i was like please tell me you know the price for the doors mm -hmm. and it did that, okay that's, um, if, okay. if i wanted to buy the mega bundle the one that costs 50 bucks it dropped to forty two thousand ninety one. I, I forgot what 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 the fucking thing is called yeah the, the um the currency yeah it takes it takes account of how how much you actually have when it comes to the costume pieces so it'll calculate like yeah and it, you won't have to pay another 50 dollars or whatever you actually like subtract it so that's pretty cool okay. at least they're, they're doing, it, they're doing it that to, much yeah if i wanted to yeah it's pretty much 42 dollars now if i wanted okay. to buy the big mega yeah the mega bundle yeah. But because again, as I said earlier, and when we were talking about Transformers, I only wanted for Hamacho because it's it's fucking mega fun. Right, 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 right. So yeah, you know, um, last the last thing I'll say about this little piece for the translator thing, I mean, it, I think it's just 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 a simple like if it's still a problem with the the human translators, right? If that translator doesn't do the job, right? If I were in charge. I let him go. It's just it's it's just as simple as that. And you just look for another translator. You know, it kind of sends the message like, hey, don't don't change the author's message or in the intentions. Yeah, just don't don't. That's why if I kind of like you, but I'll kind of do like a small step forward. Mm -hmm. It's like okay, everyone, we're gonna translate. Um, let's say fucking. Um, I don't know what, what's what's a we're gonna trans we're gonna translate the upcoming uh, reboot of Rama one half. Yes. Well, everyone, because oh, you know, of course, it's gonna unless it's like side by side. It's like I want you guys to you know do homework, read like the first few fifty chapters of mm -hmm. Rama to understand you know like not the message, but you know the uh, the quirkiness, yes. the, the fast pace, um, like sentence. Um, 
sentence structures or whatever. So you can get an idea of when we do translate, does this, and if you do use AI, did this translation from what the AI did matches the tone and the pacing of this scene? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, do it yourself. You know, like right. go, go, go make your um, own um, personal edits. But mm -hmm. again, do not fucking go like say something that is not even part of what what's happening on screen. Okay. Oh, so somebody says here that um, Kaiju number eight episode nine in particular i guess um was using ai uh when it comes to the subs uh did you or have you have you watched kaiju yeah i watched kaiju but did you find the subs I like to be this person... yeah go ahead go ahead yeah so okay with the subs and stuff but i like how this person calls it out but doesn't show like fucking like what does he mean yeah it's like can you give us like what scene yeah like yeah like a screenshot yes yeah, well, screenshot would have yeah. been nice yeah oh well, this thing because in the because i was working and that's okay so he was listening get into the um you know the okay but yeah the, i get so i guess the closed captioning is what's AI generated or something, but I think, but I, I, I imagine that's the same thing for the, the Japanese dub or whatever, the, the subs, right? Yeah. yeah. So again, without like showing like, you know, what, 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 what screenshot, what, like play, play the clip and then have those stuff. So, yeah. Um. Huh. Okay. Well, in any case, that is a subject I guess we can we uh, were able to discuss nonetheless about AI translators or AI localizers or whatever. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just as simple as did that human did they do their job? The human translator slash localizer do their job? Did they change? Did they, uh, did they self insert? All right. You're off my team. You know, <laughs> that's it's as simple as that. Like, right? So. Alright. So that's pretty much it on that part. Um, for the hype cast. Thank you very much uh for tuning in for this episode. So um just to make things clear, we will be off next week because uh evil it is evil time. Evil time is right around that corner. Zawa will be there. Uh, you know, probably, probably drunk, probably getting part, um, you know, par party, hard, party hard, party hard, you know, might come back with something on this hand. Oh my God. Please don't, please don't. <laughs> but I'm like, Luke, I don't remember this, but Luke. Oh my God. But, uh, yep. So we'll be off for Evo and we'll come back the yep. following week. And uh, we'll or, go yeah. or we are on or the other week because this man is gonna be a uh, on vacation. Oh no! Oh no! I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll still be around. It's just it's a, it's a staycation. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, but I guess you never know. So, but the following yeah. week should be fine, right? Um, after mm -hmm. Evo, so we'll we'll likely be back that time. And uh, yeah, so we'll go from there. We'll go. F uh, we'll go from there. We'll talk about Evo, obviously, and then talk about anything else that pops up. So, and that uh, with that, thank you very much, and we hope to see you all in the next uh, video. Bye bye. Oh, God. <laughs> <Poor> cat. <laughs>